The following is an exclusive sports presentation of KRDR, Classic Hits 105.7 FM, a member of the Blue Sky Media Radio Network. Well, a good afternoon to you, Ranger Nation, as we welcome you live inside a Percival Fieldhouse here on the campus of Northwestern Oklahoma State University for today's non-conference matchup featuring the visitors out of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, the Oklahoma City University Stars, and your Northwestern Rangers. Rangers coming off a victory earlier this week on Wednesday, knocking off Oklahoma Panhandle State for their first victory of the season. They said it one and two so far this season. Oklahoma City enters this uh, enters this afternoon at two and three on the season. Hello, but I'm Dustin Gooders. Welcome here to the broadcast. Going to be with you here this afternoon as Northwestern takes on a former Sooner Athletic Conference rival in the Oklahoma City University Stars. It's been a while since these two teams have met on the hardwood, which we'll talk about that and more as we open up our Dean Gall Real Estate and Auction pregame show. It's coming up right after this commercial break. You're listening to Northwestern Basketball, brought to you by Holder Drug, right here on the Ranger Sports Network, 105.7. Dean Gall Real Estate and Auction has been serving clients in Oklahoma and Kansas for nearly 37 years. If you're looking to buy, sell, or invest, we are your real estate professionals. We will get you the top dollar for your property, whether it be at auction or private sale. Get with Dean Gall Real Estate and Auction if you're wanting to buy a ranch, good farmland, sell or lease minerals, or buy a home. Visit our website at deangallauction.com to browse available listings. Talk to Dean, Jessica, Steve, or Todd at 580-327-8217 or stop by the office in Alva where you're always greeted with a smile. Come and see us. Alva State Bank and Trust Company, older than Oklahoma, big enough to serve you and small enough to know you. We love to give back to our customers. Did you know Alva State Bank offers a great rewards checking account program? That's right. You can earn cash back or high interest with our Casasa accounts. We will even refund you up to $25 in ATM fees. How do I qualify? It's simple. Just swipe your debit card 12 times, sign up for online statements, and have one ACH credit or debit post to your account. Can I do it online? Yes. Just visit our website at www.alvastatebank.com to see if our Kusasa Rewards program is right for you. We make banking easy. Whether you're at home, the office, or in your car, our online or mobile banking options help you juggle busy schedules and financial needs. Where others have branches. Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. With winter right around the corner, Holder Drug in Alva wants to remind you about vaccinations this year. Right now, Holder Drug is giving immunizations for the flu, COVID, RSV, shingles, and pneumonia. Stop in today to schedule your appointment. Christmas Open House begins November 11th, and the 13th begins our 12 Days of Christmas sales, including an annual gift with a gift purchase. As always, free deliveries with your medications and prescriptions, and specials happening at our fountain. This all happens at Holder Drug, located on the downtown square, right here in Alva. Community Bank has been serving Alva, Oklahoma, and the surrounding area since 1984. Community Bank was founded by local community members who wanted to ensure the banking needs of the community were being met. It has been our goal since inception to provide customer-focused services and community development. Our customers are friends, neighbors, and never just a number. We believe in investing in our community, and we pride ourselves in being your hometown bank. Community Bank, Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Welcome back inside Personal Fieldhouse as we open up the Dean Gall Real Estate and Auction pregame show. Again, it's Northwestern versus Oklahoma City University this afternoon. Told you last time out for the Rangers, they knocked off Panhandle State. We'll go through those numbers momentarily as we take a look at how the rest of the Great American Conference is doing so far on the men's side. Right now, it's Southern Nazarene, the only undefeated team on the men's side at 2-0 so far this season. East Central is 2-1. They've won two straight. Oklahoma Baptist has won two straight as well. Had a couple of tough losses. Uh, to two very good teams out of the Northern Sun, but they sit at 2-2. Two and two. Southeastern is 2-3 and three on the season. Arkansas Tech, Arkansas Monticello, and Harding. Henderson State, Northwestern, Wachita Baptist, and Southern Arkansas. All those teams are 1-2 and two so far in this season, winning their last game. And Southwestern sitting at the bottom of the GAC as they're 0-2 so far this season. They've lost their first two to start the year. But let's recap on Wednesday as Northwestern knocks off, knocked off NAI opponent out of the Sooner Athletic Conference, the Oklahoma Panhandle State Aggies. It was a dominating start for the Rangers. They got off to a 19-point lead at halftime, ended up outscoring OPSU by 11 in the second half to win it 80-50. to 50. They led by as many as 39. That was with six minutes to go in the second half. OPSU closed on a 9-0 run to make it to 30 
a point victory for the Rangers. Rangers actually led for 37 minutes and 59 seconds on Wednesday. OPSU led for all of four seconds. Rangers' largest scoring run was 11 uh, on the, on the, for the win on Wednesday. They were led in scoring by Brian Free, who had a terrific start uh, shooting the basketball. In fact, had 13 early points, or 15 early points in the first seven, eight minutes of the first half. Wound up finishing with 23 points, went five of eight from beyond the arc. It was very important. Brian had really struggled uh, in the first two games of the season against Northeastern State and UCO. Good to see him get back on track from beyond the arc. Another player in double figures was Chance Love off the bench. Uh, finished with 12 points and five rebounds in 22 minutes of play. Justin Norris, who got his first start of the season, had seven points, one rebound, one assist, one turnover, and one steal in 17, or just over 18 minutes of play. Larry White finished with just six points, six rebounds, eight from Shebangu, and seven from Cameron McDowell. Off the, off the bench, Clark finished with five, five from Jabari Smith, and four from Mar Marquise Milton. And Skyler Kimberlin late in the game knocked down a three-pointer for his first points uh, of the season. But Rangers were terrific and forcing points or forcing turnovers and scoring off those they had 24 points off turnovers led in the paint 30 to 24 13 second chance points uh, and bench points in favor of the rangers as well 29 27 as they won it 80 to 50 for their first victory of the season they look for victory number two again against a another sooner athletic conference opponent in the oklahoma city stars a much better team i think than we're going to see on wednesday here this afternoon as uh, Rangers facing an old Sooner Athletic Conference foe. But we'll take another time out, come back, have more of your Dean Gall Real Estate and Auction pregame show next. You're listening to Northwestern Basketball, brought to you by Holder Drug on the Ranger Sports Network. Do you need assistance taking care of yourself or a loved one? Beatles Nursing Home in Alva is here for you. We offer safe, high-quality, affordable nursing care while meeting all care guidelines for living. Call us at 580-327-1274 to learn more about our admissions process to place your loved one in our care. When it's time to choose a nursing home facility, we'll help you consider Beatles Nursing Home, located at 916 Noble Street in Alva. Dreaming of that perfect vacation or that new car? Wanting to plant some root downs on your own farm or building your own dream home? Whether your financial dream is big or small, Bank Central has it all. Stop by 604 Fun Street or call 580-327-1122. Our qualified professionals are available in Alva, Cherokee, Enid, and Woodward. Bank Central, where we're centered on you. Certain fees and restrictions may apply or other terms and conditions may apply. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Farmers are the backbone of our country, especially right here in Western Oklahoma. And we've got our farmers' backs at Farm Credit of Western Oklahoma. We are here to serve all needs to our farmers and ranchers with livestock loans, rural loans, real estate loans, operating loans, and of course, agribusiness loans. Serving our farmers since 1916 at Farm Credit of Western Oklahoma. Call or come by today and speak to one of our loan officers in Alva, Anadarko, Clinton, Elk City, Guymon, Tuttle, and Woodward. Get no better deal in the country than at Croft Country, located in Alva, Oklahoma. Croft Country is the dealer for vehicles in Northwest Oklahoma. Croft Country is locally owned and operated since 1985, offering a full line of award-winning brands including Chevy and GMC. From the time you enter our showroom for sales or service, you can expect to be treated like family. So the next time you're in the market for a new or used vehicle, come see us right here in Alva, located at 401 East Oklahoma Boulevard. Welcome back inside Personal Fieldhouse as we continue the Dean Gall Real Estate and Auction pregame show. Again, it's Northwestern versus Oklahoma City University this afternoon. Tip time scheduled for 3 p.m. We're just, just over 11 minutes before we tip this one off. And again, coming up, uh, be a little bit of a break next week for the Rangers uh, until next Saturday with it being Thanksgiving break. Rangers will be back at home next week to take on Lone Star Conference opponent, a big one, as they'll host the Midwestern State Mustangs. That's another 3 p.m. tip time next Saturday. Lady Rangers, of course, will be on the road as they make the trek all the way down to Hawaii to play in the Hoops in Hawaii tournament. They'll be taking on Stanislaw State and Chaminade University next Friday and Saturday. We'll not have radio coverage of those games. We'll be 
definitely keeping everybody updated we can back here in Alba to see how the Lady Rangers uh, fare out on the island. But let's take a look at the opponent today. Again, it's the Oklahoma City University Stars who come in at 2-3. and three. This is their first road game of the season. They played five uh, home games so far this season. They opened up on November the 2nd by knocking off the number 15 team in the nation, the Masters University out of California. They won at 78-75. Lost at home to Florida College, who's now ranked 25th. They were receiving votes at the time, 90 to 87, so a close one there. Lost at home again to Northern New Mexico College, and a close loss, 72-66. And another loss to uh, Ottawa University out of Arizona, a team that's also receiving votes in the latest NAI Top 25 poll. Lost that one again by six, 87-81. So you've seen them lose a bunch of close games. They've been right there in games. Uh, so they, this team could easily be 5-0 on the season. Most recently, though, Oklahoma City uh, took down Friends University. That was on Saturday, November the 11th. They won at home. It was their homecoming game inside Abe Lemons Arena as they won at 83-68. to Some numbers for the Stars. Again, uh, they're led by third-year head coach Mark Burkoff, who's 36-30, 29-15 in, in Sooner Athletic Conference play. And uh, should be a familiar name to most Ranger fans. He was the head coach at Randall University. The Rangers played uh, Randall several times over the last few years. Uh, he went 147 and 122 at Randall, won three national championships in 2016, 17, and 18. Coming up next for Oklahoma City, they'll be on the road to take on John Brown University. It's a team that finished 17 and 13 a year ago. They were 14 and 8 in Sooner Athletic Conference play. They were 6 and 8 on the road a year ago. Two of the big losses for the team, two of their top scorers was Corey Guest and Drayvon Claiborne. They had to be replaced, and boy, they have replaced them this season. They've been out uh, and got some, uh, got some talented guys, which we'll run through some of the guys in that roster as we take a look at uh, your starting lineups here for both teams this afternoon. Our starting lineup brought to you by the Alva Moose Lodge. And our, did you know this afternoon for the Alva Moose Lodge that the Alva Moose Lodge has actually a facility that is available for rent for any of your parties or celebrations that you'd like to have? So again, you can contact the Alva Moose Lodge for more information. Appreciate the Alva Moose Lodge being our starting lineup sponsor. Starting lineup will look like this for the Oklahoma St City Stars. They'll start a 6'1 freshman guard out of Salt Lake City, Utah. Number one will be Yergo Galesis, a 6'3 sophomore guard out of Frisco, Texas. Number two, Avery Jackson, a 7'1 sophomore center out of Sydney, Australia. Number 15, Jack McWilliams, a 6'6 senior forward from Westmont, California. Number 23, Brandon Jackson, uh, Jackson started his career at Division II Cal State Dominguez. And the final starter who I had, he will not be here today, he's out, is Parker Jones, uh, a six foot six junior forward out of Russellville, Kentucky, by way of North Dakota State College of Science. Replacing him in the starting lineup will be a six foot five freshman guard forward combo out of Prosper, Texas, James Cloud. And this will be the first start of the season for James Cloud. He scored in every game so far this season, had a season high eight points in the loss against Ottawa, Arizona. Uh, Cloud came into the, today's matchup averaging just over 13 minutes per game. For the Stars, they average about 90, 79 points per game, giving up 78. They shoot at 42%, 82% from the foul line. They've gone 9, 12, 92 of 112, 32% from 3, 35 of 108. They're rebounding 38, uh, 38 rebounds per game. That's plus one better than their opponents. 11, just over 11 assists per game, right at 13 turnovers, and average just under six steals per game this season. For the Rangers, they're led by head coach Robbie Harmon in his second season, 12 and 17 so far as the head coach of the Ranger program. He's 7 and 15 in Great American Conference play. This will be his first matchup with OCU since taking the job here at Northwestern. Rangers, of course, 11 and 15 a year ago, 7 and 15 in Great American Conference play. 1 and 0 here at home so far this season, 0 and 2 on neutral courts. Rangers starting lineup will look like this, a six foot seven red shirt freshman guard forward combo out of Houston, Texas by way of McNeese State, number two, Justin Norris. It's his second start of the season, got his first start on Wednesday in the win over Oklahoma Panhandle State. A six foot six red shirt sophomore guard from Powder Springs, Georgia by way of Georgia University and Jacksonville State University, number three, Cam McDowell. A five eight graduate guard from Greensboro, North Carolina in his third year at the program at Northwestern, a transfer from Young Harris, number four, Brian Free. A six foot six redshirt senior forward from Topeka, Kansas, by way of Coffeyville Community College, his third year with the program as well, Larry White. And starting inside the big man, the six foot nine redshirt sophomore forward out of Justin, Texas, by way of Emporia State, number 23, Kabea Shabangu. That's the starting lineup for the Rangers. Rangers come in averaging just under 58 points per game while giving up 60. It's a negative three in point differential. 
uh, shooting percentage for the Rangers, 36% this season. They have struggled from the foul line, right at 56% so far this year, just 23 of 41. 16 of 64 from three, 25%. They are being out rebounding by their opponents, uh, minus five. The Rangers are averaging just under 35 rebounds so far a game this season. Right at 10 assists per game, just under 12 turnovers, and right at six steals. That turnover margin is almost four better than their opponents. We'll take another time out, come back, have some more notes for you as uh, we'll talk about the series history between these two teams. Again, it's been a while since they have played. We'll talk about that and more as we continue the Dean Gall Real Estate and Auction pregame show next. This is Northwestern Basketball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Ranger Sports Network. Life happens to us when we are busy making other plans. That's why the good people at Marshall Funeral Home make it their mission to take the stress and uncertainty out of ceremonial services. Marshall Funeral Home offers traditional services, giving your loved one the care and attention they deserve. Give Marshall Funeral Home a call at 580-327-2311 or visit us online at marshallfuneralhomes.com. Hope Pregnancy Center is now open in Alva. We are training our nurse manager and need pregnant women for a free ultrasound and special gift. If you are 6 to 20 weeks pregnant, please call 580-327-9091 today. Our services include free and confidential pregnancy testing, ultrasound, options education, and resources. Schedule your appointment with Hope Pregnancy Center at 580-327-9091. To prevent medication from getting into the wrong hands, it is crucial to store it out of sight and out of the reach of children and visitors. In addition, it is important to dispose of unwanted, expired, and unused medications in a safe manner. For more information, visit OKIMready.org. That's OKIMREADY.org or call 988 Oklahoma's Mental Health Lifeline. This program is funded by Northwestern Oklahoma State University, Oklahoma Department of Mental Health and Substance Abuse Prevention Services and Substance Abuse Mental Health Services Administration. When was the last time you evaluated your investment goals? With our ever-changing environment, it's time. Talk to us about locking in a high, long-term fixed interest rate and put your money to work for you. I'm Whitney Gum, and here at e j Financial, we work with you to implement a custom plan to fit your financial goals. Call our office today at 580-327-2552 to book a complimentary financial review. Securities offered through registered representatives of Cambridge Investment Research, member FINRA, SIPC. Advisory services offered through Cambridge Investment Research Advisors, Cambridge and E&J Financial are not affiliated. Welcome back inside Personal Field House as we continue on with the Dean Gold Real Estate and Auction pregame show. Is just under three minutes till we tip it off between Northwestern and Oklahoma City University. Again, two teams that used to do battle on the hardwood, hardwood regularly through the Sooner Athletic Conference days when Northwestern was a member of that and the NAIA. The last meeting between these two teams was back on January 28th of 2012. It was a win for the Rangers, 55-51. It's a series that started all the way back 2002-2003. Oklahoma City leads the overall series between the two schools at 15-8. Uh, the two teams have matched up 10 times here in Alba, both teams taking five apiece from the other. Get some other notes uh, for Oklahoma City University. This is a team and a program that has won six NAI national championships in basketball, their last one coming in 2008. And this is a roster that features four Australians on the roster. Uh, again, of those four, Jack McWilliams being one of those players, uh, Sam Talapu, Clayton Jewell, and Bo Tranter. Again, those are four Australians on the roster for the Oklahoma City Stars. But that is going to wrap it up and put a close to the Dean Gall Real Estate and Auction pregame show. When we come back, we'll have your national anthems, starting lineups, and the opening tip, which is, of course, brought to you by Ridgeview Vet, Vet, Ridgeview Vet Hospital. All that and more as uh, we close to the Dean Gall Real Estate and Auction pregame show and get, close, click, get closer to tip off. This is Northwestern Basketball brought to you by Holder Drugs on the Ranger Sports Network 105.7. Before you hit the road this football season to follow the Rangers and Goldbugs, be sure to stop into KNS Tire, your Goodyear tire dealer right here in Alva. KNS Tire has a staff with more than 40 years of experience in the tire and service industry. KNS Tire is here to make sure you get to the game safe and sound. So let their certified technicians help with preventative maintenance, wheel alignments, tire wear, brake checks, and oil changes. So get to the game safely this fall by stopping into KNS Tire, located at 2590 College Boulevard, right here in Alva. 
The Tacoma Farmers Co-op is a proud supporter of Ranger and Goldbug activities since 1916. They have been here to serve you with all your farming and ranching needs with a wide range of goods and services from fuel, hardware, fencing, tires, feed and seed, plus fertilizer. They're here to meet your needs. Choose to trade with a co-op that gives its profits back to you. To learn about the Tacoma Co-op Advantage, stop by one of five locations in Moreland, Freedom, Winoka, Jet, and Tacoma, or visit them at TacomaCoop.com and get a better service at a better place. Naloxone is a medication designed to rapidly reverse opioid overdose. A person who is experiencing an overdose can't administer naloxone to themselves. Anyone can carry naloxone, give it to someone experiencing an overdose, and potentially save a life. That's why everyone should consider having naloxone. For more information, visit OKIMReady.org. That's OKIMREADY.org. This program is funded by Northwestern Oklahoma State University, Oklahoma Department of Mental Health and Substance Abuse Prevention Services and Substance Abuse Mental Health Services Administration. Welcome back inside Personal Field House as we're getting closer to tip off between Northwestern and Oklahoma City University. Is again, a few moments away from our national anthem. One more little fun fact for you. I'm glad he reminded me. Uh, again, Angelo State head coach of an Patel. This is the last two programs that he coached out before taking the job at Angelo State. He was head coach for Oklahoma City University and most recently here at Northwestern. I uh, appreciate Coach Patel for reminding me about that little fun fact before we get to tip off here this afternoon. Again, it's Northwestern doing battle with Oklahoma City University as we'll go courtside now as we're going to have our playing of our national anthem. Pick it up with our courtside microphone. <laughs> They have, folks, the final notes of the Star Spangled Banner. Let's now go courtside again to our public address announcer, Mark Zadarazdi, who will have your starting lineups once more. He'll start with the Oklahoma City Stars first up. Number one, Yergo Galiza. Starting lineup for your Northwestern. Texas, number two, Justin Norris. Six, Richard Sophomore out of power. Robbie Hornet and Chris Sanford. 
Well, there you have it, folks. Your starting lineups again brought to you by the Alva Moose Lodge this afternoon. It's Northwestern versus Oklahoma City University as the Rangers look to move to two and two and get back to 500 on the season before hosting Midwestern State next week here inside of Personal Field House. The Stars will be in their road blacks, the blue Oklahoma City, the blue numbering across the front and the back. Rangers in their home whites with the red Rangers across the front and red numbering on the back. Rangers will be moving left to right across your radio dial. The Stars will be moving right to left as Shebangu will jump it against the seven foot one center out of Sydney, Australia, number 15, Jack McWilliams. Opening tip is one end controlled by Oklahoma City. Opening tip brought to you by Ridgeview Vet Hospital. As Galesis will start with it, now to Jackson, and Jackson threw it away looking into the corner, and that'll be a turnover on the opening possession. He was trying to get the ball to James Cloud. So 19.50 to go as, we've, as we're underway here inside of Personal Fieldhouse. Rangers will have their first possession this afternoon. Cam McDowell, the transfer from Jacksonville State, will start with it, and he nearly threw it away as that ball actually was tipped away and then off of the official. Rangers will actually keep that one. So Brian Free will inbound, trying to get it in. McDowell had turned around to listen to what Coach Harmon was telling him, then able to get the ball back in now. Did Brian Free as McDowell will go to Brian Free near side, near the Northwestern logo. Bounce pass on the right baseline to McDowell. Looking to set up north, they do. He'll pull up for the jumper just outside the paint. No good. Brandon Jackson with a rebound. So back come the Stars with their second possession. They turned it over on the opening possession as Galicia's with it in between the two rings. He'll hand off to Jackson. Jackson dribbles to his left. Now to Brandon Jackson. To James Clown. Back to Brandon Jackson. Deep right wing three is no good off the back of the rim. And rebound pulled down by Justin Norris. Norris up ahead to Brian Free. Cross court back to Norris. Penetrates into the paint. Kicks it out to McDowell. Back straight away. Brian Free for a deep three. No good. Rebound corralled by Brandon Jackson. Now the Rangers have got it back now underneath into the paint. They tried to get it to Shebangu. It was knocked away by the Stars. Rangers will keep the possession, or excuse me, the Stars will keep the possession. As Galesis with it on the baseline, right of the rim, 18 to shoot. No scores, we played nearly 90 seconds as Galesis tried to get it inbounds to Brandon Jackson. It was tipped out by Larry White. So Galesis will try once more. Galesis still looking to get it in. Nobody getting open. They finally throw it out high. It's run down by Avery Jackson. Jackson, the sophomore, was a Sooner Athletic Conference freshman of the year a year ago. Second team all Sooner Athletic Conference and second team or first team all freshman team. Is that layup by Galesis is missed. Cloud with a rebound. His putback jumper is no good in the paint. Ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by the Stars. And the Rangers will have it back. 18-21 to go here in the opening half. Zeros for both teams on the Community Bank scoreboard. As McDowell reverses it back out, Shebangu. Left wing now to Brian Free. Bounce pass to Larry White near the left wing, guarded by Cloud. Cloud all over him. Good defense right there. 15 to shoot. Now to Brian Free around the screen will penetrate baseline all the way up underneath. Wraparound pass tipped in, nearly stolen away as it was knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Brandon Jackson. When Jackson nearly come up with that one, if he does, it's Two points the other way. Instead, the Rangers will keep it with seven to shoot. Nice active hands by Jackson to nearly come up with that steal. Average just under two on the season. Has eight total so far as McDowell. Five seconds to shoot to Norris. Norris stops at the foul line. Has to hoist up the jumper off the rim. No good. Jackson with another rebound. That's his third. Now up ahead to Galesis. He'll walk across the logo center court as the Stars will slow it down. Elise is still with it, trying to set up Jackson. Now looks for a screen from McWilliams. Uses it to his left. Stops the left elbow. Back out to Cloud, underneath to the big man. Cross-court pass. Here's Avery Jackson with a corner three. It's good, and the Stars strike first as they lead it 3-0. We told you in the pregame, much better opponent than the Rangers saw on Wednesday. Stars off to a terrific start here. They've held the Rangers scoreless for 
nearly three minutes as McDowell with it right wing. He'll penetrate, now back it out beyond the three-point line for the tie, and it's good from Cameron McDowell as he hits his second made three of the year, and we're tied at three. Nice little step back and jump shot from McDowell to put the Rangers on the board as Avery Jackson has got a cross-court pass to Galesis. Galesis now with its center court will dribble left near the Incidavoy logo. 13 to shoot. Galesis trying to get it to Avery Jackson. McDowell all over him, does get it to Jackson, drives bait, baseline for the right-handed runner. It's spun out no good. Offensive rebound picked up by Avery Jackson as it was kind of almost tipped right to him by Brandon Jackson, and he laid it up and in. It's 5-3. Five, Five early points for Avery Jackson. Norris with it left wing. Up top, Shibangu. Right wing to McDowell, pump fakes now, dribbles baseline underneath, got caught, threw it out, and it's stolen away by Avery Jackson as he tried to go to Norris. Jackson back the other way to Galesis, into the paint, up for the layup, no good as he left it short. Nice defense from Norris, and then Norris on the baseline, lost it out of bounds, it'll go back to the Stars. So the Stars will keep the possession. Deval Butters now checking in. Fourth appearance for him this year. Butters averaging just over eight minutes per game. Just under two points per game and three, re three rebounds. Now the official is a quick stoppage of getting a word into McWilliams and Butters. McWilliams, the big man in the corner. Now the near side to Cloud. They go to Galesis right wing. Back underneath to McWilliams. Goes back up. Missed the slam as it'll go out of bounds. Last touch by the Rangers. I'm going to say the Rangers got a hand on it. Boy, that was a good set play from the Stars and nearly got McWilliams for the slam and then we get a whistle and a, a foul called inside against the Rangers. That'll be a, lead us to our media timeout. This one brought to you by Ignite Physical Therapy. Stars on top early, 15.58 to go first half. They lead it five to three. This is Northwestern Basketball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Rangers Sports Network. Looking for the best in lawn care? Peak Environment has you covered. We offer a wide range of services, including full-service mowing, weed control, Christmas light installation, and more. Peak Environment provides efficient and affordable services across northwest Oklahoma with branches in Alva, Enid, and Woodward. Call our office today at 580-748-8003 for a free quote on any service. That's Peak Environment, 748-8003. Proud supporter of all Ranger and Gold Bug Athletics. The Alva Moose Lodge is a proud supporter of all Northwestern and Alva public school activities and strives to be the heart of the community through fundraisers and community-based events that make a difference in the lives of individuals, kids, and families throughout Northwest Oklahoma. On a national basis, the Moose Fraternity provides at-risk children with a second chance at life and its senior members a comforting retirement at its five-star senior facility in Florida. If you would like to see how you can help make a difference in the lives of those in need, stop by the Alva Moose Lodge Monday through Saturday from 4 p.m to 10.30 p.m. at 302 7th Street to learn more. Keeping your car clean is an inexpensive way to protect its value. Shirley Shine Car Wash, located west of Love, offers a six-day self-serve car wash, including three truck bays. Your wash options include soap, tire cleaner, foamy brush, wax, spot-free rinse, and air chamois. And you can pay with credit, debit card, or quarter. Don't just clean the outside, clean the inside with its self-serve car vacuum. You can also clean your pet with their self-serve dog walk. Company vehicle, be sure to ask about our fleet account. So the next time your vehicle needs rinse or detailed, come by Shirley Shine Car Wash, located right here in Alva. Welcome back inside Personal Fieldhouse. Shot clock down to 13 as the inbounds goes to McWilliams, and it's stripped away by Cheval Butters. Nice defensive play there as back come the Rangers. As Norris goes to Larry White, nice crossover move, cuts into the paint, goes up and scores off the glass. Nice move from Larry White to finish at the rim. We're tied at five. Three-quarter court pressure here now from the Rangers as Jackson quickly up ahead to Brandon Jackson. Back into the hands of Avery Jackson, sophomore out of Frisco, Texas. Two, goes to Galesis. Galesis all the way from Salt Lake City. There's James Cloud with a basketball. His pass underneath, stolen away by Norris. Up ahead to Brian Free. Free runs it down all the way in, high off the glass and scores for the layup. Four straight now for the Rangers, and it's seven to five. Rangers have claimed the lead, 15.05 to play in the first half as Galesis with it crosses the half line in front of the scores table for our side of the court. Galesis spins back to his right, goes to Avery Jackson, bounce pass underneath to McWilliams, takes one dribble, goes up, missed the shot, but he's hammered from behind, and McWilliams went down hard. 
And this sh should be on Cheval Butters. If it is, that is number two against Butters. It is, so Cheval Butters will pick up the foul. His, his second, second team foul as McWilliams heads to the free throw line. Big man, a terrific free throw shooter, 14 of 16. He's made 10 straight this season. Uh, coming into today, make it 11 straight. He was 10 of 10 from the foul line against Friends University. It was also a season and career high for McWilliams. Had 20 points in that win against Friends. Leads the team with six blocks on the year as well. Ron Clark into the game now. Mark the junior transfer out of San, San Antonio, Texas by way of Mid-America Christian University in. He, he'll get Norris. Score tied at seven as McWilliams cashes in on both. Behind the back dribble picked up by McDowell. Stops at the foul line. Goes to Larry White to his right. White will pull up for the long two. It's no good. Clark there for the tip in is no good as it rattled out. But he's fouled on the way up. Nice hustle play from Clark to stay with that miss from White. And he's going to earn two free throws out of it. Foul will go against Avery Jackson, his first first team foul. Clark just a 50% free throw shooter this season, four of eight. Had five points in that 30 point win against OPSU on Wednesday. First free throw rattles in, good. Chance Love will check in now for Larry White. Love had a nice game on Wednesday, had 12 points, five rebounds versus OPSU. That was a season high in both. Second free throw for Clark, up no good off the back iron. McWilliams has the rebound. 8-7 Rangers early, 14.30 to go in the first half here in Alva. As crossing the 10 second line is Golisis. Around the screen right from McWilliams. Trying to set up Jackson, they do to his left. Jackson now uses the screen left for McWilliams. Versus back up top to Golisis. Nice crossover move into the paint, up and under layup, no good. Tip in, no good for McWilliams, but a foul called underneath. And I think the Rangers are going to get caught again. Now, right now, McWilliams causing some problems inside for the Rangers. And that foul will go against Clark, his first third team foul. And Marquise Milton checking into the game now for Brian Free. From the 5'10 senior out of Racine, Wisconsin. Galesis on the baseline, lobs into Cloud, hands back to Galesis. Back up top, Avery jo Jackson as McDowell tried to get through the screen, couldn't get there as he went down. And Avery Jackson buries the three-pointer, his seventh made three of the year, and the Stars now lead it 10 to eight. Come the Rangers trailing by two. As Love will go to Milton, up top Shabangu. McWilliams sags off of him, now to McDowell around the screen left. And he'll go to Love. Chance Love will try a three and bury it from the left wing. Hit one of those against Oklahoma Panhandle State. He's down two for two on the season. And the Rangers now have the lead again, 11-10. Elisus up ahead to Brandon Jackson. Now to Avery Jackson. Pump fakes will penetrate. And then Stott lost the basketball. Picked it back up. Threw it back to Galesis. Around the screen right. Between the leg dribble. Now Galesis attacks the rim. Kicks it back out to Cloud. Tend to shoot. Cloud into the paint, tough uh, jumper. Just outside the paint, it was no good. Rebound tipped out to Milton. Milton to McDowell, steps into a right wing three, no good. Rebound by Clark as he got it with one hand. Now bounces underneath to McDowell, back to Chance Love, and then Love traveled with it. And that'll be a turnover against the Rangers. As we see Jabari Smith check in, the 6'6 junior out of Duluth, Georgia. He'll get Cam McDowell. First year program for Jabari Smith. Came from Wallace State Community College. Before that was at Alabama A&M. Had five points and two rebounds in the win on Wednesday over Oklahoma Panhandle State as he makes his fourth appearance of the year. Here go Galesis with a basketball guarded by Smith. And they're really working hard to get Avery Jackson the ball. There's the lob underneath to McWilliams. The big man goes up strong, but it's blocked by Shibangu, and he blocked it off of McWilliams, and the ball goes back to, to the Rangers. Nicely done there from Kabea Shabangu. Substitution now for the Stars as we're going to see the six foot two freshman guard out of Melbourne, Australia, Bo Tranter. Tranter will come in for Golisis. Tranter most recently had two points in the win against Friends. His season high is eight points against the Masters University to open the season. 
Trainer's sixth appearance, averaged just under 14 minutes per game this season as we see Dietrich Pichel will check in now for Shabangu. Shabelle, or Dietrich Pichel had a few minutes on Wednesday as well for the Rangers, pulled down a few rebounds as we've got a whistle and a foul away from the ball. This will go against, I believe, James Cloud. So Cloud will pick up his first, just the second team foul against the Stars, 12.38 to play in the opening half. Rangers on top, 11-10, inbound to Clark on the left baseline, jumper's no good. Rebound on the floor, goes out of bounds, last touch by the Stars, and the Rangers will get it back. Wanted to shoot for Northwestern, inbound by Milton to Love, hands back to Milton. Milton with it, top of the key. Bounce pass underneath to Pichelle, works against McWilliams. Right-handed jump hook, too strong, no good. McWilliams has the rebound, that is his second. I think that is third. Also into the game, Sam Talapu. Talapu, the 6'4", junior forward out of Melbourne, Australia. Talapu with the basketball. We lost it, and now the ball's on the floor, taken by Clark, just took it away. Now goes to Jabari Smith, two on two for the Rangers. Down up ahead to Chance Love, right baseline, back to Pichelle, right hand, a jump hook, no good as he left it short, and the rebound by the Stars. Jackson up ahead, Talapu. Talapu with the top of the key, hands to Jackson. Jackson tries to run into the defender, lost the basketball, though it's picked up by Chance Love. Love into the paint, back to Pichelle at the foul line. Now to Milton, and Milton says, hey, a little out of control, getting it down the floor. Let's pull it back out and reset the offense. 20 to shoot from Milton. Milton will penetrate. Turns, spins, fades, shoots, and scores. Nicely done from Marquise Milton. His first two points of the game. Rangers on top by three. 11.30 to go here in the first half. Talapu up ahead to Trainer. Trainer will drive all the way in, dumps it off to McWilliams for the two-handed slam as he got Pichelle to come over and it left the big man wide open. Four points now from Jack McWilliams. Stars back within one. Next stoppage of play will be immediate timeout as Milton to Pichelle. Right wing to Clark. Dribbles left, spins all the way up to the paint, tacks the rim and scores off the glass against Avery Jackson. Nice one-handed finish from Clark. He's got three, the lead is three. Under 11 minutes to go, first half. Trainer deep right wing, bounce pass to McWilliams. One-on-one -on -one against Pichel, into the paint, goes up strong, shot was blocked by Pichel. Nice defensive play there. As back comes Chance Love, he'll hand to Milton. Right wing to Clark. Clark works against Cloud. Throws it to Smith who cut into the paint. Back out to Love now, 18 to shoot. Love all the way in, is bumped and fouled, counted off the glass, and Chance Love with a chance for a three-point play when we come back out of our media timeout. Brought to you by Ignite Physical Therapy. 10.35 to go in the first half. Rangers lead at 17-12 on the Community Bank scoreboard. This is Northwestern Basketball, brought to you by Holder Drug on the Rangers Sports Network. At Ignite Physical Therapy, we assist in the therapy of many different aspects, such as advanced problem solving, joint mobilization, treatment of adverse neural tension, evaluation and treatment of muscle imbalance, tissue-specific exercise, and patient education. Dr. Jared Hayda and staff want to get you back to the life that you had before your injury. They have helped so many through rehabilitation, and they can do the same for you. Stop by and see the staff at Ignite Physical Therapy on 520 Glen Street or make an appointment by calling 580 327-3331. We know how much love your pet gives you. We're Ridgeview Veterinary Hospital. And we're always here for you and your pet. Ridgeview Vet Hospital provides the most comprehensive care from regular checkups to emergency. Ridgeview Vet Hospital proudly provides veterinary services to all animals, large or small. Visit us today to let Dr. Loman and his staff take care of your extended family located right here in Alva or call us to schedule your appointment at 580-327-0201. Ridgeview Vet Hospital is a proud supporter of Alva and Northwestern activities. Welcome back inside Bristol Fieldhouse, 1035 to go. Rangers on top, 17 to 12. Stars just four of 14 to start from the floor, 28%. Two for three from three though. Rangers on the other side, seven of 15, 46%. Two of four from three. Stars perfect on both free throw attempts. That was McWilliams, two for two. Rangers, one of two. That was Clark. Total rebounds. The Stars leading in rebounding right now, 11 to eight. Leading score for the Rangers is Chance Love with five. Avery Jackson has eight of the 12 for the Stars. It's Chance Love to the free throw line, his first trip there this afternoon. He's two for three so far in the season, 66%.
First free throw for Chance Love is up and, or actually completes the three point play. My apologies, 18 12. Love now with six, as he now has his season average already here in the first half. As Galesis with it on the near side, guarded by Jabari Smith. Couple substitutions for the Stars out of the timeout. In now is the 6'8 freshman out of Darwin, Australia. As he sets the screen, it's Clayton Jewell. Jackson out to Trainer. 10 to shoot. Trainer across the paint. Bounce pass underneath to Brandon Jackson. Reverse layup, no good as he left it short. Rebound was grabbed by Shibangu, and then Jewell reached over the top, and they'll call a jump ball. Possession arrow is going to favor Northwestern. Jump ball, as Milton will exit back in as Brian Free. Free with two early points. Substitution for the Rangers, number four, Brian Free. Rangers have got it halfway through the first half. As Free left wing, out of chance love. Good close out from Galesis and then tried to go by Galesis on the drive. Galesis bumped him and fouled him. This foul will be on the floor. That'll be his 14th foul as Cam McDowell back in for Clark. So Brian Free will inbound left to the rim on the baseline, 20 to shoot. Lob pass into Love, back to Brian Free. Free with it in between the two circles to Shibangu. Shemangu fakes the pass, now will drive all the way in for the two-handed slam that time. Oh, what a move from Shibangu. 20 to 12. Beyond that one. Boy, again, just kind of faked that pass and then just took off to the left and went right at the rim and attacked it. Here's Tranner with a corner three, no good. Skying for the rebound is Chance Love back on the Rangers. They want to run up ahead to Shibangu in the paint. Nice catch, goes up, missed the shot inside. Good defense from Jewell that time. Rebound by Avery Jackson as he surges ahead and runs into a Ranger. That'll be a foul on the floor. This will go against Chance Love. It'll be his first. Fouls on the Rangers. So Love picks up the foul. His first foul as Avery Jackson will exit. Now into the game for the Stars, Nick Bonifay, a senior out of Huntsville, Alabama. Lisas will inbound, left of the Ranger bench, inbound to Trainer, around the screen from Jewell. Galesis with it now, lobs into the corner. Bonifay will try a corner three, no good off the back of the rim. And Larry White pulls down the board. Up ahead to McDowell. McDowell, nice spin move over the top of Bonifay with a right hand. It's around the rim and falls in. Count it, he's fouled for Kim McDowell. So Bonifay will pick up the foul, his first. That'll be the fifth team foul against the Stars as McDowell an opportunity to complete a three-point play. McDowell this season, one of two from the free throw line, 50% in his first four games. Excuse me, three games. Free throw rattled off, no good. Rebound by Brandon Jackson, back come the Stars. A little bit of a scoring drought here now for Oklahoma City as Elisa's with it on the baseline. Cut off, back out to Jewell, just inside the left wing. The jumper's an air ball. Trainer had the offensive rebound. Back out to Brandon Jackson. He'll stop at the right elbow. Bonifay now to Galesis, 10 to shoot. Rangers really picking up the defensive intensity on this possession. Cross court pass to Trainer, right corner, five to shoot. Steps back for a three. It's blocked by Larry White. Trainer got the offensive rebound and hoist it back up and hit the rim. It's no good. Tipping was no good from Clayton Jewell. And back comes McDowell to Jabari Smith. He'll pull up for the long range jumper. It's good. They'll call it a two, but it's 24 12. Rangers on top. They've doubled up the stars. 8 15 to go. Rangers now on an 11 0 run over the last two and a half minutes. As Trainer works against Smith. Out to Jewel, right baseline. Spin move. Step back. Shot blocked again. Ball's on the floor. Picked up by Larry White. Here comes White. Down the floor, spin move into the paint, had it knocked away, runs it down on the baseline. Back to Smith, he'll try a right wing three, no good. Clayton Jewell with a rebound. Elisus quickly up ahead to Brandon Jackson, he's got left wing. Now to Bonifay near side. To Galesis, works against Larry White. 
Oh, nowhere to go there. Brandon Jackson, a deep three from the NCAA logo, and he hits. Brandon Jackson came in a terrific three-point shooter, his 15th made three of the season. And that stops a long streak without the Stars putting any points on the board. It's 24-15 is worth your under eight media timeout. It's brought to you by Ignite Physical Therapy. This is Northwestern Basketball, brought to you by Holder Drug on the Ranger Sports Network. Your agency of choice for all types of insurance is McDermott Insurance in Alva. For home, auto, farm, or business insurance, the McDermott Agency will protect what you value most by providing the best coverage and client service possible. To get your custom professional insurance review, call McDermott Insurance at 580-327-3500 or visit them at 526 Flynn Street in Alva. McDermott Insurance. They can't predict the future, but they can insure it. Winter is right around the corner, and that means savings for shoppers at G&G Home Furnishings in Alva. Their annual holiday sales event has started and will be happening until December 30th. Take advantage of all their great deals by browsing their showroom or online. Christmas decor is finally out, and you can see everything by visiting their Facebook page, which includes daily posts of items on sale. You can also visit their website at gnghomefurnishings.com or stop by and say hello and browse their showroom in person at 2107 College Boulevard right here in Alva. 7.35 to play until halftime. Northwestern on top 24 to 15 over the Oklahoma City Stars. The Stars have hit just one of their last nine from the floor, and that was that deep three from Brandon Jackson. Jackson came in averaging 19 points per game. It's his first three-pointer of the day, first points of the game. Avery Jackson also came in averaging over 19 as well. He is back out on the floor after a media timeout. If the Rangers have it, McDowell across the logo center court, lobs to Larry White near the right elbow, will penetrate in, right-handed jumper, good. Nicely, nicely done from Larry White and a finish near the rim. White now with four, the lead is 11. And Cloud with a basketball, had it knocked away, goes into the hands of Avery Jackson to Galicis, fakes a pass, lobs to McWilliams, not a good lob there as Larry White was right there, tipped it away. Now Clark up ahead, Brian Free, right corner for three, left it short, tip in is around the rim and falling in, and that was Cam McDowell who crashed, who got the two points for the Rangers. McDowell now with seven, the lead is 13. Galicis up ahead to Jackson, bounce pass to Cloud, nearly stolen away. Cloud back to Avery Jackson, pump fix as Larry White blew by. Jackson with the right-handed runner, and that's no good. And we get a whistle and a foul called on the rebound. This one going against the Rangers. I believe it's going to be on Shibangu. That'll be his first 15 foul as Elisus will inbound on the baseline to McWilliams. Now to Cloud, out to Galicis right wing. Cross court pass to Brandon Jackson on the baseline. Pull up jumper, no good as it was too strong. Brian Free has the rebound. Free to Larry White. He'll hand to Clark, left wing. Hands to McDowell, top of the key, 22 to shoot. McDowell steps back, he'll take the long two and hit. Nice shot from Cam McDowell as he's got nine early points. And had seven points in the win on Wednesday. Has already eclipsed that by two now here in the first half. It's 30 to 15, 6.05 to go until halftime. Delisis, near side near the NCAA logo. Now to Jackson, wide open, top of the key for three. No good. Brandon Jackson runs down the rebound on the right baseline. Bounce pass, cross court to Cloud. His baseline jumper, no good. Clark has the rebound for the Rangers. A couple of good looks from the Stars there. Could not get it to go, could not get it to fall though. Stars have really struggled from the floor. Now five of 25 as Larry White hands back. Well, was going to hand back to McDowell. Decided to take it himself to free to Shibango on the bounce pass left baseline. Now works against McWilliams. Goes up with the right hand. It's no good. Nice defense there from McWilliams. He forces the miss and has the rebound. Now Galicis surges all the way in, layup no good. Clark with a block, offensive rebound by Brandon Jackson, goes to Avery Jackson, reverse layup is good, count it and he's fouled. And a chance for a three point play from Avery Jackson. Nice finish there from Avery Jackson. Down the right side and finished on the left side. 
So Jackson will head to the free throw line. He is a 89% free throw shooter, 33 of 37 this season as Norris and Marquise Milton and Dietrich Michelle back in. Avery Jackson's season high this year is 25 of the loss to Ottawa, Ottawa and Arizona. His career high was 32 points a year ago against the same team. He is their leading scorer, and he's had double figures in all five games this season. But he misses that free throw there, just his fifth miss of the year. Rangers lead by 13, five minutes to play here in the first half. We'll have one more media timeout coming up in about a minute as Milton pulls up jumper. Good from the left elbow. Nice shot from Marquise Milton. He's got four. The lead back to 15. It's been the largest here in the first half. Elise is with it near side. Trapped by Milton and Free. Cross court up ahead to Cloud. Deep right wing three. He'll try it and hit. Norris didn't close out quick enough, and Cloud made him pay. His fifth made three of the year. He's now five of 10. And the lead back down to 12. Norris to Milton at the left elbow. Still with it, back out to free, left wing, 20 to shoot. Free, nice crossover move, works against Galicis, right there with him now to Pichel, left baseline. Backs down McWilliams, right handed, jump hook good from Dietrich Pichel, nice finish that time. McWilliams had gotten the better of him a couple times before, but Pichel wins that battle. 34 to 20, first two points of the game for Dietrich Pichel. Galicis over right wing to Avery Jackson. Back to Cloud. He'll try another three, and he hits again. James Cloud back-to-back -back threes. The lead is down to 11. Under four minutes to go here in the first half. All of a sudden, the Stars heating up a little bit here. These last few possessions as Norris to free. Works against Brandon Jackson around the screen. Steps back for a three. For Brian Free, it's no good. Galicis has the rebound. Lisa's with it, left wing. Doesn't use the screen. Now picked up his dribble, back to McWilliams. McWilliams against Pichel, backs him down, spins, goes up strong with a right hand, and he's fouled. And McWilliams will head to the free throw line to shoot two when we come back. 3.25 to go in the first half. Rangers lead it by 11 on the Community Bank scoreboard. This is a Northwestern basketball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Rangers Sports Network. Body Works, our goal is to make our auto body services as convenient and stress-free for our customers as possible. From minor repairs to major auto body work, we do every job with the highest level of professionalism. We have the team and the technology to address a variety of auto body needs in today's ever-changing market. So come on by today and get your free estimate at K&K Body Works, located at 301 Flint Street, right here in Alba. Are you in need of electrical work done at your home, farm, or business? Northwest Electric in Alba is your local and friendly contractor for all your electrical needs. Daryl, David, and Scott are fully qualified electricians with over 100 years of combined electrical experience. From new lighting options and troubleshooting to new construction or remodeling of your home or business, Northwest Electric is here to serve you beyond the call of duty. Northwest Electric is a proud supporter of Goldbug and Ranger Athletics. Northwest Electric, where we don't want all the business, just yours. Welcome back inside Purcell Fieldhouse. Northwestern on top, 34-23, 3.25 to go in the first half. Rangers right now dominating in the paint. They lead it 18-6 over the Stars. However, the Stars have second chance points leading 7-3. Bench points in favor of the Rangers, 17-0, and Northwestern leading in points off turnovers, 8-0. Stars, again, shooting just 26% from the floor, 8 of 30, but five of those they have come from beyond the arc. They're 55% from three, five of nine. Rangers 15 of 28 from the floor, 53%, two of six from three. As out of our timeout, Jack McWilliams, the seven foot one sophomore center will be at the free throw line. He's got four points today. Already two for two from the foul line. Bill G's made his last 12, make it 13. So McWilliams will shoot one more. Second free throw upcoming, and McWilliams got them both. Make it 14 straight. We have a substitution as McWilliams will check out. Back in is Clayton Jewell. Northwestern with it, into the front court to Pichelle, left wing to Clark. Working against the zone from OCU is Milton finds a hole in the zone at the foul line, missed the jumper, ball goes out of bounds, last touch by Clayton Jewell. 
Rangers will keep it with 20 to shoot, 3.10 to go in the first half. Northwestern leading by nine. They've led by as many as 15 this afternoon. Milton has to throw it all the way into the backcourt. It's run down by Justin Norris. He'll hand to Milton. Rangers will set up the offense against the zone from OCU. Bounce pass to Chance Love. Love back out left wing to Clark. Under 10 to shoot. Milton. Lisa's nearly come up with a steal there. As Milton four to shoot, three to shoot. At the Chance Love takes one dribble, attacks the rim. Shot up, no good. It did not hit rim, and there'll be a shot clock violation and a turnover against the Rangers. That'll be turnover number three. Shot clock violation. When all of a sudden, the Stars have climbed back into this thing and only trail by nine as we're going to see basically a line change for the Rangers here. It's Shebangu, Larry White, and Brian Free back in. Looks like Cam McDowell will come back in as well. So Love, Pichelle, Milton, and Norris will exit as Clark will be the lone Ranger to stay on the floor. Stars facing that three-quarter court pressure as Galesis. Now to Avery Jackson, back to Galesis. They'll cross the 10-second line with about two seconds to spare. Galesis drives baseline, cross-court pass out to Clark, left wing, nice closeout for McDowell. He'll drive baseline, and then McDowell got him with the arm and pushed off a little bit. Use that elbow, one of the two. And so McDowell will pick up the foul. That is the eighth team foul, his first. So one and one upcoming for Avery Jackson. Jackson already in double figures with 10. He's 0 for 1 from the free throw line. Second on the team in rebounds with four here so far this afternoon. As the first free throw is up and it rims out, no good. Shabangu has the rebound. Three up ahead to McDowell. 2.25 to go till halftime. McDowell to Shabangu, dribbles left, hands to Brian Free, 15 to shoot. Free tried to get it to Clark, bounce pass back to Shabangu, drives baseline all the way in, shot blocked by Brandon Jackson. Nice defensive play there, but Larry White picked up the rebound off the floor. White out to McDowell, four to shoot, three to shoot. Out to Free for a deep, deep three. It's no good as it grazes the front of the rim. Larry White has the rebound and a whistle and a foul called inside. This will go against Yurgo Galesis. That'll be his second, six-team foul. One more will put the Rangers in the bonus. If you're a Stars fan, missed opportunity there. And boy, now we have a whistle and a, I don't know if this is a technical foul or what. I'll have to wait the decision from the scores table after they get it from the official. So, Yurgo Galicis has been issued a technical foul, a mistake there, and that's now, I believe, his third. So, Talapu will now check in. Looks like for the Stars. If I heard that right from the scores table. So, Brian Free will step to the free throw line to shoot the technical free throws. He'll get two. Free is yet to go to the free throw line this afternoon. He is four of five on the season, 80%. And the Rangers leading score averaging nearly 12 points per game as the first free throws up and good, the lead back to 10. One more from Brian Free. Second free throw, got them both. Rangers will also end down on the baseline. With 158 to play, Northwestern has pushed the lead back to 11. Pretty much led the whole way. The last lead for the Stars was at 10 to 8 at the 14-17 mark. It's Shibangu, hands to Free. And close out from Jewel. Free, guarded by Talapu. Now to Larry White, spin move, right-handed jump hook, swatted away by Clayton Jewel. Anticipated that one and come up with a block. Nice defensive play there from Clayton Jewel. Talapu to Brandon Jackson, up top to Jewel. Right wing to Cloud. Now to Avery Jackson, 18 to shoot. Nice crossover move, dips his way into the paint, all the way in, attacks the rim, and it rolled off the rim. Ball's on the floor, picked up by Jackson. Out to Brandon Jackson for another three. This one's too, too strong, no good. And now comes McDowell, out to Brian Free. Deep left wing, three, and he buried it. First made three of the game for Brian Free. The lead back to 14 on the assist from McDowell. Seven for Brian Free, the lead at 14. 60 seconds to play. 
There's a three again from Cloud. That one's no good. Larry White has the rebound. Rangers don't have the numbers. As White into the paint, back to Cameron McDowell. Pump fakes, now dribbles all the way in. Lost it on the way up. And they're going to say Avery Jackson was out of bounds. So the ball will stay with Northwestern as Avery Jackson trying to save that one on the baseline. 21 seconds on the shot clock is free to inbound. Inbound will be taken by Clark. No hand to McDowell. White. Now around the screen. Back to Shabangu. Drives all the way in. He, oh, and he did. He traveled with it. Took too many steps. And I wonder if they were going to catch it or not. But no question that was a traveling call against Shabangu. And that's tough because he had a wide open lane to the rim for another two-handed slam. Stars want a timeout. We'll go ahead and take it as well. 34 seconds left. Rangers by 14 on the Community Bank scoreboard. This is Northwestern Basketball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Rangers Sports Network. Alva Health and Wellness is Alva's newest health care option, offering a broad array of services geared to address today's most common illnesses and injuries. Alva Health and Wellness offers services for you and your child, including sickness, wellness, chronic care management, vaccinations, weight loss, and so much more. Find more information online by visiting alvahealthandwellness.com or come by and make an appointment with Jeremy Logston in person at 515 College Avenue right here in Alva. 34.8 to go in the first half as we get closer to your peak environment halftime show. Northwestern on top of Oklahoma City, 39-25. We'll run through our halftime statistics, talk about the first 20 minutes of play. We get to our peak environment halftime show. Also a great American Conference football team actually in the Division II playoffs today. Henderson State was on the road at Central Missouri. Last score check on that was in the second quarter. It was all Central Missouri leading at 42 to seven. We'll get you an updated score on that one as well at halftime. It's under 30 seconds left as Avery Jackson with it, guarded by McDowell. And man to man for the Rangers. Jackson around the screen left, runs right into Shabangu, loses it out of bounds. They're going to say last touch by Shabangu, though. Stars will keep it with 10 seconds on the shot clock. Inbound will go to Avery Jackson. Jackson will penetrate all the way in. Layup, no good. Tip in is good, though, from Clayton Jewell. Johnny on the spot, under 10 seconds left. The lead down to 12. Clark behind the back dribble, all the way to the rim. Put a shot up, kind of awkwardly falling away and knocked it down, and that's how the first half will come to a close. We played 20 minutes on the Community Bank scoreboard. Northwestern 41, Oklahoma City University 27. We will take a timeout, and our peak environment halftime show begins right after this. This is Northwestern Basketball, brought to you by Holder Drug on the Ranger Sports Network 105.7. Looking for the best in lawn care? Peak Environment has you covered. We offer a wide range of services, including full-service mowing, weed control, Christmas light installation, and more. Peak Environment provides efficient and affordable services across northwest Oklahoma with branches in Alva, Enid, and Woodward. Call our office today at 580-748-8003 for a free quote on any service. That's Peak Environment, 748-8003. Proud supporter of all Ranger and Gold Bug Athletics. Alva State Bank and Trust Company, older than Oklahoma, big enough to serve you and small enough to know you. We love to give back to our customers. Did you know Alva State Bank offers a great rewards checking account program? That's right. You can earn cash back or high interest with our Casasa accounts. We will even refund you up to $25 in ATM fees. How do I qualify? It's simple. Just swipe your debit card 12 times, sign up for online statements, debit post to your account. Can I do it online? Yes. Just visit our website at www.alvastatebank.com to see if our Kusasa Rewards Program is right for you. We make banking easy. Whether you're at home, the office, or in your car, our online or mobile banking options help you juggle busy schedules and financial needs. Where others have branches. Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. 
With winter right around the corner, Holder Drug in Alva wants to remind you about vaccinations this year. Right now, Holder Drug is giving immunizations for the flu, COVID, RSV, shingles, and pneumonia. Stop in today to schedule your appointment. Christmas Open House begins November 11th, and the 13th begins our 12 days of Christmas sales, including an annual gift with a gift purchase. As always, free deliveries with your medications and prescriptions, and specials happening at our fountain. This all happens at Holder Drug, located on the downtown square, right here in Alva. Community Bank has been serving Alva, Oklahoma, and the surrounding area since 1984. Community Bank was founded by local community members who wanted to ensure the banking needs of the community were being met. It has been our goal since inception to provide customer-focused services and community development. Our customers are friends, neighbors, and never just a number. We believe in investing in our community, and we pride ourselves in being your hometown bank. Community Bank, Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Welcome back inside Personal Field House. As, uh, again, it's our peak environment halftime show. Northwestern on top of Oklahoma City University, 41 to 27. As we open up the peak environment halftime show, again, uh, get you updated. Uh, the Alma Gold Bugs won last night. Craig Kilman and Matt Ader having that one. Gold Bugs move on to the quarterfinals. Got word that they will play next Friday at Kingfisher. They will take on number four, Keither Kiefer, at uh, 1 p.m., It'll be a 12.30 pregame show for Craig Kelman and Chris Ruwalt uh, next Friday. Some other programming for the rest of the week. Uh, not much as far as, uh, as for Northwestern. Next Saturday, the Rangers will be back in action to take on Midwestern State here at home. Lone Star opponent, Lone Star Conference opponent coming to town. Uh, it'll be a 3 p.m. start time next Saturday. We'll take another time out, come back, and have more of your peak environment halftime show right after this. This is Northwestern Basketball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Ranger Sports Network 105.7. Do you need assistance taking care of yourself or a loved one? Beatles Nursing Home in Alva is here for you. We offer safe, high-quality, affordable nursing care while meeting all care guidelines for living. Call us at 580-327-1274 to learn more about our admissions process to place your loved one in our care. When it's time to choose a nursing home facility, we'll help you consider Beatles Nursing Home located at 916 Noble Street in Alva. Dreaming of that perfect vacation or that new car? Wanting to plant some root downs on your own farm or building your own dream home? Whether your financial dream is big or small, Bank Central has it all. Stop by 604 Flynn Street or call 580-327-1122. Our qualified professionals are available in Alva, Cherokee, Enid, and Woodward. Bank Central, where we're centered on you. Certain fees and restrictions may apply or other terms and conditions may apply. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Get no better deal in the country than at Croft Country, located in Alva, Oklahoma. Croft Country is the dealer for vehicles in Northwest Oklahoma. Croft Country is locally owned and operated since 1985, offering a full line of award-winning brands, including Chevy and GMC. From the time you enter our showroom for sales or service, you can expect to be treated like family. So the next time you're in the market for a new or used vehicle, come see us right here in Alva, located at 401 East Oklahoma Boulevard. Life happens to us when we are busy making other plans. That's why the good people at Marshall Funeral Home make it their mission to take the stress and uncertainty out of ceremonial services. Marshall Funeral Home offers traditional services, giving your loved one the care and attention they deserve. Give Marshall Funeral Home a call at 580-327-2311 or visit us online at marshallfuneralhomes.com. Farmers are the backbone of our country, especially right here in Western Oklahoma. And we've got our farmers' backs at Farm Credit of Western Oklahoma. We are here to serve all needs to our farmers and ranchers with livestock loans, rural loans, real estate loans, operating loans, and of course, agribusiness loans. Serving our farmers since 1916 at Farm Credit of Western Oklahoma. Call or come by today and speak to one of our loan officers in Alva, Anadarko, Clinton, Elk City, Guymon, Tuttle, and Woodward. Welcome back inside Personal Fieldhouse as we continue the Peak Environment Halftime Show. Again, on the Community Bank School Board Northwestern on top of Oklahoma City University, 41-27. to Again, it's the two teams' first matchup since January 28th of 2012, where the Rangers won at 55-51. to Let's take a look at your halftime statistics. Those brought to you by Shirley Shine Car Wash. We'll start with the Stars. They go 9 of 35 in the first half, 25%. 5 of 11 from 3. 
for 45%, four of six from foul line, 66 percent in half number one. Led in scoring by Avery Jackson, who's well on his way to his average. Ten points in the first half. Six from Cloud. Six from Jack McWilliams. Three from Brandon Jackson. Again, Brandon Jackson came in averaging 19 points as well, but as again, has only hit the one three and five field goal attempts and two points from Clayton Jewell. As a team, the Stars had 24 total rebounds. Leading rebounder was Brandon Jackson in the first half with six. Twelve offensive, twelve defensive. They had five assists to six turnovers. Leading the team was Galesis in assist with two and one steal. But they do have three blocks. Uh, solo block from Brandon Jackson, James Cloud, and Clayton Jewell. On the other side for the Rangers, they go 17 of 36, 47% in half number one. Three of eight from beyond the arc, 37%. And from the foul line, Rangers four of six for 66%. Rangers led in scoring here in the first half by Cam McDowell, who finished with nine points, also with three rebounds and two assists. Seven from Brian Free, six from Chance Love, five from Ron Clark, four from Marquise Milton, two apiece from Jamari Smith and Dietrich Michelle. Larry White chipped in with four and Shibangu with two as well to round at the scoring for the Rangers. As a team, Northwestern had 24 total rebounds as well. Eight offensive, 16 defensive for the Rangers. Leading rebounder was Larry White in the first half with five. Northwestern with just five assists to four turnovers. Uh, two assists apiece for Cam McDowell and Brian Free lead the team. Five steals for the Rangers. Larry White led the way with two. Rangers already with six total blocks in the first half. Two of those belonging to Shibango with two, which leads the team. We'll take another timeout, come back, have some other numbers for you right after this as we roll along in the Peak Environment Halftime Show. This is Northwestern Basketball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Rangers Sports Network. Hope Pregnancy Center is now open in Alva. We are training our nurse manager and need pregnant women for a free ultrasound and special gift. If you are 6 to 20 weeks pregnant, please call 580-327-9091 today. Our services include free and confidential pregnancy testing, ultrasound, Options Education and Resources. Schedule your appointment with Hope Pregnancy Center at 580-327-9091. To prevent medication from getting into the wrong hands, it is crucial to store it out of sight and out of the reach of children and visitors. In addition, it is important to dispose of unwanted, expired, and unused medications in a safe manner. For more information, visit okimready.org. That's O-K-I-M-R-E-A-D-Y.org or call 988 Oklahoma's Mental Health Lifeline. This program is funded by Northwestern Oklahoma State University, Oklahoma Department of Mental Health and Substance Abuse Prevention Services and Substance Abuse Mental Health Services Administration. When was the last time you evaluated your investment goals? With our ever-changing environment, it's time. Talk to us about locking in a high, long-term fixed interest rate and put your money to work for you. I'm Whitney Gum, and here at ENJ Financial, we work with you to implement a custom plan to fit your financial goals. Call our office today at 580-327-2552 to book a complimentary financial review. Securities offered through registered representatives of Cambridge Investment Research, member FINRA, SIPC. Advisory services offered through Cambridge Investment Research Advisors, Cambridge and E&J Financial are not affiliated. Before you hit the road this football season to follow the Rangers and Gold Bugs, be sure to stop into KNS Tire, your Goodyear tire dealer right here in Alva. KNS Tire has a staff with more than 40 years of experience in the tire and service industry. KNS Tire is here to make sure you get to the game safe and sound. So let their certified technicians help with preventative maintenance, wheel alignments, tire wear, brake checks, and oil changes. So get to the game safely this fall by stopping into KNS Tire, located at 2590 College Boulevard, right here in Alva. Welcome back inside Percival Fieldhouse as we get some other numbers for you from the first half. Largest lead, Rangers have led by as many as 15. OCU by three. Largest scoring run, a 5-0 run by the Stars, 11-0 run for the Rangers. We had three lead changes. Game was tied three times. The Stars led for a minute and two seconds. Rangers led for 14 minutes and 58 seconds. Points on toes. Rangers led at 8-2. They led in the paint 20-8. Second chance points belong to the Stars as they lead at 9-5. Fast break points in favor of Northwestern 10-0. And the Rangers dominating in bench points 19-2. Again, it's 41-27 here at halftime. We also told you we'd get you caught up around other Great American Conference happenings. Uh, it was a tough day for the Henderson State Reddies in the first round of the Division II playoffs. They were down 35 to nothing at the end of the first quarter. I think it was 42 before they finally scored, but uh, they fall today to Central Missouri in Warrensburg, 56-14. So Harding was the number one seed in that region and on the bracket. 
So next week, Central Missouri will be traveling to Searcy to take on Harding University. Should be a fantastic matchup next weekend in the natural state. And also happening right now in the natural state uh, in Hot Springs, Arkansas, it is Oklahoma Baptist uh, in, uh, doing battle in volleyball with Henderson State. OBU took the opening set 31-29 to over the Reddies. And again, we'll get you caught up uh, the rest of the way as we go through and how the set number two and three will go in Arkansas. But that'll put a close to the Peak Environment Halftime Show when we come back. Second half action begins right after this. This is Northwestern Basketball brought to you by Holder Drug, and you're listening to it all right here on the Ranger Sports Network. Classic Hits 105.7. The Tacoma Farmers Co-op is a proud supporter of Ranger and Goldbug activities since 1916. They have been here to serve you with all your farming and ranching needs with a wide range of goods and services from fuel, hardware, fencing, tires, feed and seed, plus fertilizer. They're here to meet your needs. Choose to trade with a co-op that gives its profits back to you. To learn about the Tacoma Co-op Advantage, stop by one of five locations in Moreland, Freedom, Winoka, Jet, and Tacoma, or visit them at TacomaCoop.com and get a better service at a better place. Naloxone is a medication designed to rapidly reverse opioid overdose. A person who is experiencing an overdose can't administer naloxone to themselves. Anyone can carry naloxone, give it to someone experiencing an overdose, and potentially save a life. That's why everyone should consider having naloxone. For more information, visit OKIMReady.org. That's OKIMREADY.org. This program is funded by Northwestern Oklahoma State University, Oklahoma Department of Mental Health and Substance Abuse Prevention Services and Substance Abuse Mental Health Services Administration. 818 Diner has consistently provided the city of Alba with quality comfort food and great service since opening in 2019. Join us for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Some of our popular menu items to choose from include the BCB Burger, the French Dip, and our staples such as Terry's Chicken Fried Steak, Don's Hamburger Steak, and Joe's Chicken Tenders. Open Monday and Wednesday through Sunday from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. and open for dinner Wednesday through Friday, 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. So if you want a variety of menu items and friendly service to give you that local diner feeling, visit 818 Diner right here in Alba. Dean Gall Real Estate and Auction has been serving clients in Oklahoma and Kansas for nearly 37 years. If you're looking to buy, sell, or invest, we are your real estate professionals. We will get you the top dollar for your property, whether it be at auction or private sale. Get with Dean Gall Real Estate and Auction if you're wanting to buy a ranch, good farmland, sell or lease minerals, or buy a home. Visit our website at deangallauction.com to browse available listing. Talk to Dean, Jessica, Steve, or Todd at 580-327-8217 or stop by the office in Alva where you're always greeted with a smile. Come and see us. Looking for the best in lawn care? Peak Environment has you covered. We offer a wide range of services including full service mowing, weed control, Christmas light installation, and more. Peak Environment provides efficient and affordable services across northwest Oklahoma with branches in Alva, Enid, and Woodward. Call our office today at 580 580- 748-8003 for a free quote on any service. That's Peak Environment, 748-8003. Proud supporter of all Ranger and Gold Bug Athletics. Welcome back inside Personal Fieldhouse. Dustin Goodno here as we here with you this afternoon as we get ready to start the second half. Northwestern on top of Oklahoma City University, 41 to 27. We told you the series between these two teams was tied five apiece here in Alva. Again, they had not played since 2012. And that nearly 11 years, oh, just over 11 years ago. Rangers do have a 14 point lead here at half though, as they look to expand on that in half number two. Trying to win back-to-back -back games here at home before coming back home next Saturday against Midwestern State. Stars will start with the basketball moving left to right across your radio dial. It will be Brandon Jackson who will inbound just in front of our broadcast position. Inbound will go to Galesis, and we're underway to start half number two. Galesis with it to McWilliams. Back to Galesis. Trying to set up Avery Jackson, they do, as he'll penetrate back out to Brandon Jackson. Pulls up, extended left elbow jumper, rattled out no good. Rebound tipped around, taken by Larry White. Now over to Brian Free, 19.36 to go. Here in the second half, Rangers' first possession is Shabangu. Nice crossover move, goes up high with a right hand and scores over the top of McWilliams. Nice move from Shabango. his second made field goal, he's got four. Rangers by 16, their largest lead this afternoon. 
Jackson with it. Now with it right wing will penetrate all the way in, go up high and miss the shot, but he's bumped and fouled, so. See committing the violation that time. This may be on Cam McDowell. No, it's gonna be on Shebangu. That's his second, just the first team foul of half number two. So Avery Jackson back to the free throw line. He's 0 for 2 so far this afternoon. The only two misses by the Stars have come by Avery Jackson. First free throws up and good. Jackson now hits his first made foul shot and he's got 11 points in the game. Jackson ready to go for foul shot number two. Eyes it flies it, knocks it down. Lead back down to 14. We played a minute here in the second half. 43-29, Rangers on top. As White left wing to free over the NCAA logo, back up top to Shebangu. Right wing to McDowell. McDowell will reverse back to his right, now on the right baseline. Cut off by Jackson, threw it out high, it was tipped by Galicis, right to the hands of Free with a foul line extended jumper, hits the front of the rim and falls off. Rebound finally corralled by Brandon Jackson. Outlet pass to Galicis, he'll speed into the front court. Now a nice little spin move there from Galicis. He'll dribble back out beyond the three-point line. As he sets it up for the Stars and a whistle and a foul called against Justin Norris. So Norris will pick up his first. First team foul against the Rangers. Galicis to inbound near side to the right of our spot on the floor. Inbound will go to Avery Jackson. Jackson, nice crossover move and penetrate and a whistle and another foul call. This will go against Cam McDowell. Just beaten to the spot that time by Jackson and all of a sudden McDowell has picked up here second. Already three team fouls against the Rangers here in the first 90 seconds. Avery Jackson uses the screen left. Hesitation on the dribble. Cut off, now back out to Galesis. Galicis with it, kicks it out of the corner. Cloud will step into a three. He's hit and fouled by Norris. And now James Cloud is gonna head to the free throw line to shoot three. We well, like that Norris ran out and challenged him, but well, you don't want to hit him across the arm what Norris did. And so Cloud heads to the free throw line. Again, came one of five on the season, just 20%. First free throws up and it's good. Stars back within 13. So Norris now with two and already four team fouls against the Rangers in less than two minutes. Second free throw for Cloud is up and good. He'll have one more. As Norris will exit back in as Clark. So Deron Clark back into the game. Third and final free throw for Cloud is up and good. The Stars within 12, or 11, 43-32. Rangers again have led by as many as 16 as McDowell uses the screen left from Shebangu. Stops, kicks it back out to White, right wing to Brian Free. Back out to White, now to McDowell near side. Oh, nice move by McDowell, drives all the way in, goes up high off the glass for the right hand and finishes around the seven foot one center. Jack McWilliams, and it's 45-32. Lisas, left of the circle. Into the corner to Jackson and went out of bounds. Last touch by Clark. Stars will keep it with 17 to shoot. 17-32 to play here in half number two. Inbound to Avery Jackson. Jackson will work against Cam McDowell. 12 to shoot to Galicis. Galicis, nice spin move into the paint. Throws up, forces one up. The high jumper rattled in over the top of Brian Free. That was a tough shot from Galicis, but he hit it. His first two, the lead back down to 11. Clark to McDowell. Fumbled it right back to Clark, though. He'll handle Larry White, right wing. White drives all the way in, shot blocked by Cloud. McDowell picked it up off the floor, out to Clark for the long two, left it short, no good, rebound by Avery Jackson. Jackson will drive all the way in and he's fouled on the way up. 
I'm going to say, was he shooting or on the floor? We'll find out here. It will be two shots. It'll be a foul on Brian Free, his first in the fifth team foul now against the Rangers. So all of a sudden, the Stars climbing back into this one after they got down by 16. First free throw, it's the front of the rim, back of the rim, and falls in. Second free throw, got them both. Oklahoma City down nine now, 45-36, still a ton of time to go in the second half. As McDowell will penetrate, stop at the foul line, back out to Shebangu, pump fakes to the three-point line, goes to McDowell, now to Clark to his left. Clark just inside the left wing, cross court to McDowell. 13 to shoot, McDowell, right baseline, steps back for the jumper, it's no good. Rebound goes right into the hands of Larry White, who went back up and was fouled from behind. So Larry White will head to the free throw line to shoot two. Foul from OCU, number two, Avery Jackson. Last foul was against Avery Jackson, his second, just the first team foul. So Larry White to the free throw line, has not been there so far this afternoon. He's just two of nine on the season, 22%, but he hits the first. There again, the second leading scorer came in averaging 10, 10 points per game. Did lead the team in blocks coming into the matchup as he knocks down both. Larry with three blocks so far on the season. Does have one today, so give him four on the year. As Galesis with it for the Stars, down 11. The Jackson left wing, and then we had a whistle away from the ball, and this will be on Shebangu, matched up with Jack McWilliams. And Shebangu has just drawn his third foul. We'll see Cheval Butters check in. Checking in for the Rangers, number 15, Cheval Butters. So Butters to get Shebangu, who's going to have to sit with those three fouls, is... Galesis will inbound to McWilliams in the left corner. Out to Brandon Jackson beyond the three-point line. They set up Avery Jackson. Jackson across the paint, leans in, lost it on his way up. Now got it back as he stole it away. Reverse layup was no good as he left it short, and then he collides with Butters for the rebound. That'll be a foul on Avery Jackson as he's just picked up his third now. Missed opportunity there for the Stars. And that'll lead us to a media timeout. We'll take it. 16 minutes to go in the second half. Rangers lead by 11 on the Community Bank scoreboard. This is Northwestern Basketball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Rangers Sports Network. The Alva Moose Lodge is a proud supporter of all Northwestern and Alva public school activities and strives to be the heart of the community through fundraisers and community-based events that make a difference in the lives of individuals, kids, and families throughout Northwest Oklahoma. On a national basis, the Moose Fraternity provides at-risk children with a second chance at life and its senior members a comforting retirement at its five-star senior facility in Florida. If you would like to see how you can help make a difference in the lives of those in need, stop by the Alva Moose Lodge Monday through Saturday from 4 p.m to 10.30 p.m. at 302 7th Street to learn more. Keeping your car clean is an inexpensive way to protect its value. Shirley Shine Car Wash, located west of Love, offers a six-day self-serve car wash, including three truck bays. Your wash options include soap, tire cleaner, foamy brush, wax, spot-free rinse, and air chamois. And you can pay with credit, debit card, or quarters. Don't just clean the outside, clean the inside with its self-serve car vacuum. You can also clean your pet with their self-serve dog walk. Company vehicle, be sure to ask about our fleet account. So the next time your vehicle needs rinse or detailed, come by Shirley Shine Car Wash, located right here in Alva. 16 minutes to play in the second half as we welcome you back to Percival Fieldhouse here in Alva. Justin Goodo here with you for the call this afternoon. It's 47-36 Northwestern on top. As the Rangers will be at the free throw line. Out of our media timeout, as always brought to you by Ignite Physical Therapy. Brian Free will inbound to Cam McDowell as he'll bring it up across the half line. McDowell with it, top of the key, uses a screen right, reverses back to Brian Free. Nice crossover move, steps back for a three-pointer, no good. And that ball goes off the hands of McWilliams. It's run down by McDowell. Back to Larry White. He'll try a left corner three, no good. Left it short. Rebound secured by James Cloud. Galesis with it now. Matched up with Brian Free, under 20 to shoot. 
Right wing to Brandon Jackson, dribbles to his left, and then all the way in, and a whistle and a foul called. This will again go against the Rangers, as that's on Larry White, his second. Now all of a sudden, the Stars are gonna be in the bonus for the last nearly 15 and a half minutes of the second half, and boy, this is the guy that you don't wanna put on the foul line. As McWilliams again came in an 87% free throw shooter, only two misses on the year. He's made his last 14 free throws though. So first one up on the one and one for McWilliams, and it's no good. So the string of 14 straight is over as the rebound by Butters. Out to McDowell. Got a chance, Love. Love will penetrate all the way in, jump stop. Kicked it back out to McDowell as McWilliams was there defending him. He'll hand to Brian Free. Free, nice crossover move. Goes out to Clark, right wing, 10 to shoot. Clark near side to Chance Love. Love will drive baseline, spin move, goes up, and a whistle and a traveling call. And that'll be a turnover against the Rangers, turnover number five, as Marquise Milton will come in for Cam McDowell. Marquise Milton. Inbound to Galesis. Galesis with it, near side, gets the, receives the pass back from Jackson. Out of Brandon Jackson at the foul line. Shoots from the foul line, no good on the fadeaway jumper. Milton runs down the rebound in the corner. Quickly up ahead to Brian Free, gets by Brandon Jackson, drives all the way in, layup no good. And the rebound by Avery Jackson. Numbers here for the Stars. Jackson drives all the way in. Right-handed layup off the glass is good. And the lead is down to nine. 47-38. Jackson now with 16. Six of those coming here in half number two. 14-13 to go. Clark trying to set up free. Galicis read that perfectly. Stepped right over the top of the defender and knocked it away. Wade on the near side, out of bounds. Chance Love will inbound for the Rangers just to our left with 14 to shoot. Into Cheval Butters. He'll hand to Milton, top of the key. Milton drives left into the paint, stops at the left block, back out to Clark. Five to shoot. Nice crossover move from Clark. Lost it, got it back. Fades from the baseline, is shot up, no good. And James Cloud has the rebound for the Stars, a chance to get closer here. Elisus drives baseline underneath, back out to Brandon Jackson. He'll drive all the way in and is fouled on the way up, and Brandon Jackson is gonna shoot too. Eighth team foul coming up against the Rangers. Foul for number 15, Cheval Butters. And that is the third on Cheval Butters. So the two big post players, Cheval Butters and Shibangu, both with three apiece. It's Brandon Jackson to the foul line, his first three throw attempts. He's 23 of 23 on the season. Make it 24 of 24 now. Leighton Jewell back in as McWilliams will exit. Bo Tranner in as well. One more from Brandon Jackson. Second free throw, got them both. How about that? 25 straight foul shots to start the season made for Brandon Jackson. 47 to 40, stars within seven. As free, up top to Butters. Left wing to Milton. Milton drives baseline, goes up strong, and scores off the glass from the left block. Nice finish from the guard, Marquise Milton. He's now got six. Rangers back to that three-quarter court as Jewell up ahead to Tranner. Chance Love went down, they go inside to Jewel, back out, here's a right corner three from Tranner, no good, left it short. Cheval Butters pulled the rebound down off the rim. Up ahead to Clark, quickly down the floor, attacks the rim, layup no good as he left it short. Brandon Jackson back with it for the Stars. Jackson will drive all the way in, layup up, no good. Clayton Jewel with a rebound, goes back up and scores from the left side with a right hand, and it's 49-42. And the Rangers want a timeout. We'll take it as well, 12.48 to go in the Community Bank scoreboard. 49-42, Rangers lead it. You're listening to Northwestern Basketball, brought to you by Holder Drug, right here on the Rangers Sports Network, 105.7. 
At Ignite Physical Therapy, we assist in the therapy of many different aspects, such as advanced problem solving, joint mobilization, treatment of adverse neural tension, evaluation and treatment of muscle imbalance, tissue-specific exercise, and patient education. Dr. Jared Hayda and staff want to get you back to the life that you had before your injury. They have helped so many through rehabilitation, and they can do the same for you. Stop by and see the staff at Ignite Physical Therapy on 520 Flynn Street or make an appointment by calling 580 587-3331. We know how much love your pet gives you. We're Ridgeview Veterinary Hospital. We're always here for you and your pet. Ridgeview Vet Hospital provides the most comprehensive care from regular checkups to emergency. Ridgeview Vet Hospital proudly provides veterinary services to all animals, large or small. Visit us today to let Dr. Lohman and his staff take care of your extended family located right here in Alva or call us to schedule your appointment at 580-327-0201. Ridgeview Vet Hospital is a proud supporter of Alva and Northwestern Activities. 12.48 12.48 to go in the second half as we welcome you back out of our timeout. 49-42, Rangers by seven. They've led by as many as 16. And the Stars had cut it to nine on a couple of separate, separate occasions, but this is the closest they've been in a long time. Milton takes the inbounds pass. He'll go to Chance Love. Now to Brian Free. Free to Clark. Left to the top of the key, out to the right wing at Chance Love. Twenty to shoot, Love back out straight away in between the two rings to Milton. Milton works against Jewel into the paint, up and under move, layup is good. Nice move from Marquise Milton. Milton now with eight, that's a good finish there. It's 51-42. Galesis with it. Up ahead to Jewel as they break the pressure. Now Galesis will set up the offense for the Stars. Left wing to Jackson, Brandon Jackson that is. Jewel back cut to Trainer, drives all the way in, layup good as Clark lost him that time on the back door. And it's 51-44. So Bo Trainer has his first two points of the game and the Stars back within seven. Love hands to Clark. In between the two circles to free, lobs back to Clark and then a whistle and a traveling call. He shuffled his feet and that'll be a turnover. Turnover number six, and that'll lead us to the under 12 media timeout. 11.51 to go here in the second half. Rangers lead at 51-44 on the Community Bank scoreboard. This is Northwestern Basketball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Rangers Sports Network. Your agency of choice for all types of insurance is McDermott Insurance in Alva. For home, auto, farm, or business insurance, the McDermott Agency will protect what you value most by providing the best coverage and client service possible. To get your custom professional insurance review, call McDermott Insurance at 580-327-3500 or visit them at 526 Flynn Street in Alva. McDermott Insurance. They can't predict the future, but they can insure it. Winter is right around the corner, and that means savings for shoppers at G&G Home Furnishings in Alva. Their annual holiday sales event has started and will be happening until December 30th. Take advantage of all their great deals by browsing their showroom or online. Christmas decor is finally out, and you can see everything by visiting their Facebook page, which includes daily toast of items on sale. You can also visit their website at gnghomefurnishings.com or stop by and say hello and browse their showroom in person at 2107 College Boulevard right here in Alva. Welcome back inside Percival Field House. 11.51 to play here in the second half. Northwestern on top, 51 to 44. Here in the second half, the Stars are four of nine from the floor, but well, the big reason they're back in this game is they're nine of 10 from the free throw line. Rangers just four of 14 from the floor, 0 for three from three, and two for two from the charity stripe. Stars have it down seven. Trying to inch closer here as Jewel with it, top of the key. Hands to Galesis, drives and penetrates all the way in. Left-handed layup off the glass, count it, and he's fouled for Yurgo Galesis. And the Stars are now within five as Galesis has five or has four points. Now that last foul, now Cheval Butters is checking out. Last foul on Butters. Galesis knocks down the free throw. He was a 72% free throw shooter coming in, and he gets that one. It's 51-47 now. Rangers by four is free at the left wing. Back to Jabari Smith, now free with it. Crossover move. Now to Milton. 
Milton works against Tranner, drives all the way in, high up with a shot, it's no good. Tranner with a rebound. Back comes Bo Tranner as he'll cross the 10 second line to Brandon Jackson, right wing, guarded by Shabangu. He'll step back, he'll try a three and he hits. Oh my, the stars are now within one, 51 to 50. Jackson now with eight. What a run for Oklahoma City. Again, they trailed by as many as 16 at the 1926 mark here in the second half as Milton out to free. Pump fix gets the man in the air, pulls up for the jumper. Good for Brian Free. The Rangers needed that one. 53-50. Avery Jackson to Galesis. Lobs it up ahead to Brandon, to Brandon Jackson for a three in the tie. It's no good. Rebound tipped by Milton and run down and picked up by Milton on the baseline. Milton up ahead to Chance Love. Drives all the way in. Creates contact off the glass. Count it. He's fouled for Chance Love. And the Rangers go back up by five. A chance to get to six here with a free throw. Nice heads up play to get the ball quickly and a chance love and noticed he had some room to get to the rim and Love now has eight. That foul was against Clayton Jewell, his first. Third team foul against the Stars. Chance Love already one for one from the free throw line here this afternoon. Complete the three-point play, Chance Love does. Just like that, five straight from the Rangers to push the lead back to six, 56-50. 10 22 to go here in half number two. Brandon Jackson will inbound. Elisis will streak up the floor on the far side. Now on the baseline. Now dribbles near the right wing. Now into the paint, backs off. He's guarded by Javari Smith. Under 20 to shoot for Brandon Jackson. Galesis, 15 to shoot. Crossover move into the paint, kicked it out to Trainer, and there's a whistle and an offensive foul. Marquise Milton stepped up to take the charge. And Galesis will pick up his fourth personal foul, fourth team foul. Stars will have to go to the bench as James Cloud will check in. That's well, a heads up play for Marquise Milton. In to step up and take the charge. 56-50, under 10 minutes to go here in the second half. Milton up top to Shabangu. Bounce pass to Larry White, it's stolen away. Jackson stepped right in front. Here comes Jackson, drives all the way in, up another layup, no good. Rebound on the floor, picked up by Larry White. Outlet pass up ahead to a wide open Cam McDowell for the two-handed slam. And it's 58-50. Terrific job of running the floor there from Northwestern. Seven straight now for the Rangers after the Stars had crawled to within one. Jackson. Out to Trainer, bounce pass to Brandon Jackson, underneath to Jewel, takes one dribble, goes up and scores with a right hand. And OCU wants a timeout. 9.22 to go here in the second half. 58-52, Rangers on top of the Community Bank School Board. This is Northwestern Basketball, brought to you by Holder Drug on the Ranger Sports Network. Painful Body Works, our goal is to make our auto body services as convenient and stress-free for our customers as possible. From minor repairs to major auto body work, we do every job with the highest level of professionalism. We have the team and the technology to address a variety of auto body needs in today's ever-changing market. So come on by today and get your free estimate at K&K Body Works, located at 301 Flint Street, right here in Alba. Are you in need of electrical work done at your home, farm, or business? Northwest Electric in Alva is your local and friendly contractor for all your electrical needs. Daryl, David, and Scott are fully qualified electricians with over 100 years of combined electrical experience. From new lighting options and troubleshooting to new construction or remodeling of your home or business, Northwest Electric is here to serve you beyond the call of duty. Northwest Electric is a proud supporter of Goldbug and Ranger Athletics. Northwest Electric, where we don't want all the business, just yours. Welcome back out of that timeout. 9.22 to go in the second half. Northwestern on top, 58 to 52. Stars last lead came at the 14-17 mark. They led 10 to eight. They got it to within one. It was 51 to 50. Rangers rattled off seven straight points and then a basket by Clayton Jewell 
And a timeout called by OCU. Larry White will inbound. Inbound will go to Cam McDowell as McDowell will bring it up across the center line. Now to White. Barry Smith back to McDowell. High in the back dribble at McDowell. Drives across the paint, stops, bounce pass out to Milton. He'll try right corner three, and it's good for Marquise Milton. Marquise Milton have a day. He's in double figures now with 11 to lead back up to nine. Leighton Jewell with it, top of the key. Moves to his left, hands to Avery Jackson. Jackson will penetrate all the way in, high up with a left-handed layup, and it's good off the glass. Nice finish again from Avery Jackson. He's had a big day. He's got 18, one shy of his season average. Larry White, out of Milton to Smith. Out to McDowell, left wing, 18 to shoot. McDowell, he'll try a left wing three, no good. Leighton Jewell with a backside rebound, had it tipped out of his hands, now it's picked up by Jabari Smith. Underneath Shabangu, goes up with a layup, missed it as it was left short. Rebound tipped out of bounds on the near side, it'll stay with Northwestern. So Rangers will keep it, as we'll see Brian Free check in. Talib U in as well. For Oklahoma City, he'll get Bo Trainer. White will inbound to Brian Free. White, now to McDowell, left wing. Now to Shabangu up top. Shabangu dribbles right, hands back to Free. Free will try a deep right wing three, and that's an air ball no good. I don't know if Jewel got a hand on it. They're going to say he did not. Ball will go back to the Stars, trailing by seven. Sam Talapu will be running point. Oklahoma City, he'll go to Cloud, deep left wing. And off to Jackson on that same side, around the screen right from Jewell. Jackson continues with the dribble all the way in, hop step in, left the layup short. And the rebound by Shabangu. McDowell has it now for the Rangers. Hands to Larry White, top of the key, dribbles right to Milton, near side back to free. Looks underneath. Now both back out to Milton beyond the three-point line. Milton, jump step into the paint, out to McDowell, tender 10 to shoot. McDowell with it, right wing. Cross-court pass, sailed it over the head into the second row as he was looking for Brian Free, and that'll be a turnover, leading us to the under-eight media timeout. We'll take it, 7.22 to go here in the second half. Rangers leading by seven on the Community Bank School Board. This is Northwestern Basketball, brought to you by Holder Drug on the Rangers Sports Network. Alva Health and Wellness is Alva's newest healthcare option, offering a broad array of services geared to address today's most common illnesses and injuries. Alva Health and Wellness offers services for you and your child, including sickness, wellness, chronic care management, vaccinations, weight loss, and so much more. Find more information online by visiting alvahealthandwellness.com or come by and make an appointment with Jeremy Logston in person at 515 College Avenue right here in Alva. State Bank and Trust Company, older than Oklahoma, big enough to serve you and small enough to know you. We love to give back to our customers. Did you know Alva State Bank offers a great rewards checking account program? That's right. You can earn cash back or high interest with our Casasa accounts. We will even refund you up to $25 in ATM fees. How do I qualify? It's simple. Just swipe your debit card 12 times, sign up for online statements, have one ACH credit or debit post to your account. Can I do it online? Yes. Just visit our website at www.alvastatebank.com to see if our Casasa Rewards Program is right for you. We make banking easy. Whether you're at home, the office, or in your car, our online or mobile banking options help you juggle busy schedules and financial needs. We plant roots where others have branches. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. Out of our timeout, Oklahoma City will have it. Moving left to right across your radio dial is Talapu. Out to Cloud, back up top on the near side to Jewel, right wing to Jackson. Brandon Jackson threw it underneath. It was tipped out of bounds. They're going to say last touch by a star. I think it may have went off the hands of Clayton Jewel. And the Rangers will get it back. Just the eighth turnover now against the Stars. Both teams, in fact, have eight turnovers apiece and eight assists apiece. As Milton to Larry White, left wing now to Brian Free. Back up top, Shabangu. McDowell into the paint, up strong with a left hand, missed the shot, but he was fouled, and Cameron McDowell earned two free throws. 
After that foul on Brandon Jackson, that'll be just his first, but the fifth team foul against Oklahoma City. So Cameron McDowell to the free throw line. Been there once this afternoon. He's 0 for 1 so far today. He's got 13 points, 5 rebounds, and 3 assists. McDowell takes two dribbles, shoots, and knocks it down. Chance Love back into the game for the Rangers now as he'll get Kabea Shabangu. Chance Love has had a good day today. Nine points, three of four from the floor. He's got three rebounds. Second free throw, no good for McDowell as he hits one of two. Clayton Jewell rips that one off the rim and Talapu up ahead to Jewell. Back to Talapu, lost it, got it back, under 20 to shoot. Pass to Avery Jackson near side, near the right wing. Now right of the wing to Cloud. They'll reverse it back to Brandon Jackson, deep left wing, under 10 to shoot. He'll back it out near the midcourt stripe. Tried the crossover move, and Larry White's going to get caught reaching in with four seconds on the shot clock. As White will pick up his second. I believe, no, actually, that's his third. And I don't know if that's a... I think this will be the final one and one. Gerard Clark will check in now. He'll get Marquise Milton. This will be the final one and one. Brandon Jackson again, two for two today, 25 for 25 on the season. And he missed there, 25 of 26 now. First miss on the season from Brandon Jackson from the free throw line. Rangers lead it by eight, 62-54. Clark, now to Chance Love. Now to McDowell, right wing. McDowell will penetrate all the way in, attacks the rim, layup, good, count it, and he's fouled for Cam McDowell. And McDowell really kind of taking over here in the second half as he's now got 16 in the game. Last foul will go against, well, it can't be against Delisus. He's not out there. It'll be against Jackson. Brandon Jackson, that is. McDowell did miss the free throw, now just one of four from the charity stripe. Ranger lead is 10, 64-54. As Jackson with it, he'll try a right wing three, and he hits as Larry White had closed out. Jackson knocked it down anyway. He's got 11, his third made three, the lead back down to seven. McDowell will walk it across the logo. Picked up his dribble, goes to Clark, far side in front of Coach Harmon and the Ranger bench. Bounce pass to Larry White, right baseline, now into the paint, goes up, left the shot, well short, but it hit the rim and rolled around and fell in. Ranger rim that time helps out Larry White as he'll pick up another two points for him. He's now up to eight, Jackson. We'll try another three, and he hits again from the right wing. Brandon Jackson heating up at 66-60. He's now got 14. 66-60, 5-10 to go in the second half. As McDowell lobs back underneath to a wide open chance love for the two-handed slam. And a chance to complete the three-point play. This foul will go against Brandon Jackson. All of a sudden, he's picked up three quick fouls. Here in the last several minutes, that's the seventh team foul now against the Stars. And it looks like we're going to have a timeout. We'll take it. 5.05 to go in the second half. Rangers lead it by eight on the Community Bank scoreboard. This is Northwestern Basketball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Ranger Sports Network. With winter right around the corner, Holder Drug and Alva wants to remind you about vaccinations this year. Right now, Holder Drug is giving immunizations for the flu, COVID, RSV, shingles, and pneumonia. Stop in today to schedule your appointment. Christmas Open House begins November 11th, and the 13th begins our 12 Days of Christmas sales, including an annual gift with a gift purchase. As always, free deliveries with your medications and prescriptions, and specials happening at our fountain. This all happens at Holder Drug, located on the downtown square, right here in Alva. Welcome back inside Percival Fieldhouse. 5.05 to play in the second half. Rangers leading it over the Oklahoma City Stars by a score of 68 to 60. 
in the Stars that closed the gap to within one. It was 51 to 50. They got it back to within six after a most recent three from Brandon Jackson, but a two-handed slam by Chance Love and an opportunity for the end one coming up as he'll head to the free throw line. Chance Love already two for two so far this afternoon. Chance to go three for three and complete the three-point play, and he does. 69-60, five minutes to go here in the second half. Brandon Jackson with the basketball now, guarded by Larry White. Under five minutes to go, second half, as McWilliams is checked back in. Ball goes out of bounds, last touch by Larry White as Jackson went down. Stars will keep it with 17 to shoot. Here go Galesis is checked back in now. And he's got the four fouls. Avery Jackson with it, guarded by Chance Love. Steps back, he'll try a deep three, no good. Tip in, no good as well from Cloud. And rebound by Clark. Up ahead to Cameron McDowell. 4.30 to go, second half. As McDowell dribbles back to his right, hands to White. White will continue with the dribble, works against McWilliams all the way, up and under, reverse layup, no good. One, a big man, seven foot one big man calls that one. Galesis out to Brandon Jackson, steps back for another right wing three. That one no good, it's an air ball. McDowell has the rebound, quickly down center of the floor. Out to Brian Free, good close at that time from Galesis. Wide open though is Clark and he'll try a three, no good off the back iron. Larry White skied for the rebound, cuts by a defender, goes up, left the shot short. And James Cloud pulls down the rebound for the Stars. Couple of good looks for the Rangers there. Could not cash in. 69-60, Rangers by nine. Galesis with the basketball. He'll penetrate. Tried to throw it high as Jackson was cutting baseline underneath and sailed that one out of bounds. That'll be a turnover leading us to a final media timeout. It's brought to you by Ignite Physical Therapy. Rangers on top, 69-60, 3.41 to go in the second half. This is Northwestern Basketball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Rangers Sports Network. Community Bank has been serving Alva, Oklahoma and the surrounding area since 1984. Community Bank was founded by local community members who wanted to ensure the banking needs of the community were being met. It has been our goal since inception to provide customer-focused services and community development. Our customers are friends, neighbors, and never just a number. We believe in investing in our community, and we pride ourselves in being your hometown bank. Community Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. Do you need assistance taking care of yourself or a loved one? Beatles Nursing Home in Alva is here for you. We offer safe, high-quality, affordable nursing care while meeting all care guidelines for living. Call us at 580-327-1274 to learn more about our admissions process to place your loved one in our care. When it's time to choose a nursing home facility, we'll help you consider Beatles Nursing Home, located at 916 Noble Street in Alva. Welcome back out of our media timeout, 69 to 60, Northwestern on top of the Oklahoma City Stars. Again, an opponent out of the NAI and Sooner Athletic Conference. Rangers looking to make it two straight against Sooner Athletic Conference opponents this week. Took down Oklahoma Panhandle State on Wednesday, 80 to 50. Leading by nine here in the second half. As Brian Free will inbound, Rangers have the full length of the court to go. A little pressure here from Oklahoma City in the backcourt. Inbound will go to McDowell. Stationary dribble walking this one up. Up ahead to Chance Love as they beat the pressure. Now out of the trap goes to McDowell. McDowell will penetrate. Out to Brian Free left wing. Now back to McDowell. McDowell stationary dribble out near the logo of the midcourt stripe. Under 10 to shoot. McDowell will make his move. Drive all the way in. Layup good as he got around Avery Jackson. Cameron McDowell taking over here in the second half. And McDowell at halftime had nine points. Nine more here in the second half. And they've been big baskets as there's a pass inside to McWilliams is tipped away and stolen. Rangers have got it leading by 11 now. Under three minutes to go. Yeah. 
And down, deep right wing to Brian Free, 15 to shoot. Around the screen left from White as he moves to his left. Back to Chance Love, near side to McDowell, left wing. He'll drive again against Cloud, goes up and is fouled, and Kim McDowell is gonna earn two more free throws. McDowell has struggled from the foul line, though. He's missed three. He's one of four. One of four so far. Here in the game, he does have 18 points. First free throw up coming for McDowell is no good. McDowell misses again. Now one of five from the free throw line. One more upcoming from Cam McDowell. Second free throw, knocks that one down. He hits one of two. The lead is 12, 72-60 now. 2.30 to play. Galisa speeds into the front court, nearly lost it, got it back in the right corner near the baseline. Now we'll drive baseline underneath, bounce pass out to Avery Jackson. He'll try a three, no good. Cloud there with the offensive rebound, goes back up, missed it. Tip in, no good for McWilliams. Couldn't, he stayed with the rebound though. Back out to Galicis, he'll try a three, no good. Larry White with a rebound, had it knocked away and the ball goes sailing out of bounds on the near side into the third row, just behind our broadcast position. And the ball will go back to the Oklahoma City Stars. I think the Stars thought Avery Jackson was, or Galicis was fouled on that three-pointer in the corner, but nonetheless, the Stars will have it. Down 12, two minutes to go. Galicis with it. Out near the NCAA logo, makes his move on Brian Free, creates a little separation and buries the jumper. Nice looking shot from Galicis. 72-62. Back comes Brian Free, wide open for a three, and it's good as Galicious kind of got lost there, didn't commit to the defensive play. I think they thought a timeout was getting called, and now they'll call one. We'll take it as well. 1.41 to go here in the second half. Rangers lead by 13 on the Community Bank scoreboard. This is Northwestern Basketball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Ranger Sports Network. Dreaming of that perfect vacation or that new car? Wanting to plant some root downs on your own farm or building your own dream home? Whether your financial dream is big or small, Bank Central has it all. Stop by 604 Fun Street or call 580-327-1122. Our qualified professionals are available in Alva, Cherokee, Enid, and Woodward. Bank Central, where we're centered on you. Certain fees and restrictions may apply or other terms and conditions may apply. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Farmers are the backbone of our country, especially right here in Western Oklahoma. And we've got our farmers' backs at Farm Credit of Western Oklahoma. We are here to serve all needs to our farmers and ranchers with livestock loans, rural loans, real estate loans, operating loans, and of course, agribusiness loans. Serving our farmers since 1916 at Farm Credit of Western Oklahoma. Call or come by today and speak to one of our loan officers in Alva, Anadarko, Clinton, Elk City, Guymon, Tuttle, and Woodward. Oklahoma, St City St Oklahoma City University Stars will have it out of the timeout. 75-62 as the Rangers leading by 13 as the Stars have actually gone to their bench now. End of the game, Noah McMullen as he got that one inside to looks like Alex Rasmussen who traveled with the basketball. So no starters on the floor now for the Stars. Also out there is River Byrne. On the floor as well, Trayton Owens, the sophomore. Rangers. And the Rangers want a timeout. 75-62, 122 left. We'll take a timeout and come back. This is Northwestern Basketball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Rangers Sports Network. No better deal in the country than at Croft Country, located in Alva, Oklahoma. Croft Country is the dealer for vehicles in Northwest Oklahoma. Croft Country is locally owned and operated since 1985, offering a full line of award-winning brands including Chevy and GMC. From the time you enter our showroom for sales or service, you can expect to be treated like family. So the next time you're in the market for a new or used vehicle, come see us right here in Alva, located at 401 East Oklahoma Boulevard. Welcome back inside Personal Fieldhouse. 122 left to go is Rangers have now gone to their bench as well. We'll see Thomas Prado check in along with Justin Norris. Also into the game for the Rangers. A 
Well, we've got a number for the Rangers out there, but do not have a name for that. Also out there, Skylar Kimberlin and Jabari Smith. Inbound by Norris will go to Prado. Prado with the basketball over to Norris. He'll hand off to our unknown Ranger at the, at the time. He's not on the roster as Norris with a deep right wing three and he buries it. Nice shot from Norris, his first points of the game, the lead up to 16. That matches the largest of the day for the Rangers. Is on the drive for the Stars. Kicking it out for a left wing three was Rasmussen. Going back up, missing the shot and staying with it though. Nice play there from River Byrne. Byrne to Rasmussen. Rasmussen. Out. Into the hands that time of Noah McMullen. Rasmussen will try another three. This one no good. Prado has the rebound. 35 seconds left. The difference of about six seconds on the shot clock and game clock. Prado still with the dribble. Leans into one at the foul line. Missed it. Boy, and the bench was going nuts there. They wanted that one. Back come the stars as River Byrne hands off to Jewel. He misses the layup inside. Skyler Kimberlin with the rebound. Prado's got it now for the Rangers. 15 seconds to go. Crowd will rise to its feet as they know the Rangers have got this one in hand. Prado behind the back dribble, under 10 seconds, trying to create some space, backs down the defender. Now four seconds left, three seconds. Prado back out to Jabari Smith, two seconds, one, and that is gonna do it. As the Rangers have now won two straight this week over Sooner Athletic Conference opponents, they'll knock off the Oklahoma City Stars, 78 to 62. 78-62 is your final. The Rangers a winner as they move to 2-2 two two on the season, picking up a victory, and they're back to 500. We'll take a timeout. The McDermott Insurance postgame show is next as we'll be joined by head coach Robbie Harmon. This is Northwestern Basketball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Rangers Sports Network. Your agency of choice for all types of insurance is McDermott Insurance in Alva. For home, auto, farm, or business insurance, the McDermott Agency will protect what you value most by providing the best coverage and client service possible. To get your custom professional insurance review, call McDermott Insurance at 580-327-3500 or visit them at 526 Flynn Street in Alva. McDermott Insurance. They can't predict the future, but they can insure it. Life happens to us when we are busy making other plans. That's why the good people at Marshall Funeral Home make it their mission to take the stress and uncertainty out of ceremonial services. Marshall Funeral Home offers traditional services, giving your loved one the care and attention they deserve. Give Marshall Funeral Home a call at 580-327-2311 or visit us online at marshallfuneralhomes.com. Welcome back inside Personal Filth House as we open up the McDermott Insurance postgame show. Rangers win it tonight over Oklahoma City University, 78-62. We're joined by Ranger head basketball coach Robbie Harmon. Coach, congrats on the victory. Make it two straight now for you guys here at home. Yeah, no, uh, it's it's good to be home. It always helps a little bit. And um, even though we don't get a lot of calls at home, uh, it, it just feels good to be back, happy for the guys. Um, you know, that tough first weekend, but... You know, happy to be back uh, with a couple in a row at home. Well, you guys got off to a really good start in this one. You had the double-digit lead at times. Uh, I know at 16 at one point, and then the second half, they climbed back in it. Give them credit that they weren't going anywhere, but you guys really responded with a run after getting uh, after they had cut the lead to 51-50. Yeah, I think that's, you know, our, our team, we've got some older guys, but a lot of inexperienced basketball players. Um, you know, guys that have been at some, some higher levels and, and transferred here, and they're still learning to, to finish games out and you know when put teams away when you have a chance and um, it was a good learning experience for us I know we, we got up a little bit and they were I think we kind of let off the gas defensively and um, on the off, on the offensive glass they were getting to us a little bit so um, it's a learning experience glad the guys went through it glad we get out with a win though talk about the play Cam McDowell he was huge for you guys I think nine in the first half ten more in the second half but Boy, he just kind of had the ability to get to the rim anytime he could, and he did a great job of finishing at the rim. Yeah, he, Cam doesn't know how good of a player he can be yet. Um, we're, we're trying to navigate through those waters with him. Um, it's in there, um, and we see it in spurts like you saw it today, um, but he's got to figure out how to do it on a daily basis, and that's you know it's kind of the maturity uh, he's got to go through, and um, you know we, we show him a lot of things of like Malik Parsons last year, and I, he's got that ability. You know, Malik was a special player, maybe not, not quite there yet, um, for what he did, but a similar type player for us where he's got to be able to get to the rim and he can score for us. But not only that, he's, he's an unbelievable shot creator for us, like for guys like Brian and 
Um, he led us in scoring right there, led us in assists. So um, he's going to do a lot for us. I want to give him the keys to run everything, um, but he's got to earn them. And, and he's, this is the game that, that's going to move him a little forward to getting those. You know, I know it's always tough playing against a seven foot one center. We're not going to see a whole lot of that maybe in the Great American Conference uh, with Oklahoma City having Jack McWilliams. How did you? Feel that your guys fared inside the paint. We ended up scoring 40 points on the paint, though, and uh, on them tonight. Yeah, I thought we did a good job of uh, exploiting mismatches. They switched some things, and we were able to drive uh, some of their bigger guys. But having a seven-footer in there is just different. It alters shots, even if he's not blocking them. It, it changes how we how we attack. And um, we tweaked a few things in the second half, um, and then they, they forced them to take him out, um, and they put, they went a little smaller. But um, you know, like you said, we're not going to see a ton of guys like that, but it's good because, you know, eventually down the road, if we get to where we want to get to, uh, we might run into some more guys like that. Two guys that come off the bench tonight played, I thought, really, really well. Back-to-back -back games, really, for Chance Love. And Marquise Milton was huge again tonight. Uh, those guys goes for 12 and 11. Talk about the play of those two guys off the bench for you this uh, this afternoon. Yeah, they're huge. They're huge for us because they get to sit back and, and they see the, the guys that are starting. And um, I, I think and I think we have eight guys that could start at any time. Probably eight, probably ten. Um, it's a good problem to have. Yeah, right? it's, yeah, it's a good problem. And, and those guys have been great kind of accepting that that role off the bench and uh, um, you know Marquise is a guy who in practice and you, you think he's Kyrie Irving he scores so many points and and he has that ability you know and I've been trying to get him out of his shell in the games where he's got to play like that and um, I thought tonight was was huge for him um, but he's great defensively well and Chance is the same way Chance is steady every single day and um, when he's playing kind of his role and and what we need him to do, he's really good. Um, and, and that's for everyone. When they when they get outside of their role and try to do some different things that they maybe are not great at, um, we struggle a little bit. And that's when you see us go in little lulls. Uh, you know, we're scoring lulls or some defensive woes. Um, guys are just getting a little out of character, but that's that's part of early season stuff, learning and, and trying to grow. Coach, I know we've got a week for our next game, and and it's a very familiar opponent. We went on the road, opened the season there last year. Talk about real quickly about Midwestern State coming to town next week, and that's a big matchup having a Lone Star team coming here. Right. No, we're we're excited. We've kind of our guys have they know a lot of guys on that team just from being Texas area, Oklahoma, and a lot of guys. Um, so they've been talking already about getting ready for that. Obviously, I was hoping they weren't going to overlook this one, which they didn't. Um, but it's a big matchup for us. They, uh, they're they big and physical, just like this team. I'm glad we played a team like that um, because they've got some athletes and guys inside that can hurt you and um, some quick guards. But um, you know, I'd put our guys up against anyone, anyone Lone Star, um, you know, anyone in this league where defensively I think we can we can do a lot of things and keep people in front of us and make it really hard on teams. You know, I'm really happy we, they shot 31% from the game. Um, it probably sh we probably should have scored a few more points and opened it up earlier. But... But we can do that defensively to teams, and you know that's it's another game. It's going to be really a really difficult matchup, um, but one our guys are excited about, and um, hopefully we can we can have a great crowd and a great turnout, and we can you know show them what we can do is against a really good opponent. Coach, congrats on the victory again. I'll let you go enjoy this one with your team, and uh, have a great Thanksgiving with your family next week, and we'll see you back here next Saturday. Absolutely appreciate it. Thanks again to Ranger head basketball coach Robbie Harmon for joining us here in our McDermott Insurance post game show. As the Rangers a winner. Here this afternoon by a final score of 78-62. Let's take a look at your final numbers. Brought to you by Shirley Shine Car Wash. Rangers go 31 of 67, 46%. 6 of 16 from 3, 37%. 10 of 15 from the foul line, 66%. Led in scoring tonight by Cam Adal with 19, 12 from free, 12 from Chance Love. Marquise Milton with 11. Larry White with 8. Norris with 3. Shabangu with 4. 5 from Clark and 2 apiece from Jabari Smith and Pich uh, Dietrich Pichel. Rangers had 44 total rebounds. They won the rebounding edge by 1. 14 offensive, uh, 30 defensive rebounds for the Rangers tonight. Larry White finished with 8 points and 11 boards. 10 assists to 9 turnovers, 6 steals, and 6 blocks for the Rangers tonight. For the Stars, they go 20 of 64, 31%, 8 of 22 from 3, 36%, 14 of 18 from the foul line, 77%. Avery Jackson and Brandon Jackson led the way in scoring with 18 and 14 apiece. Cloud finishes with 9, Galicis with 7, McWilliams with 6, Bo Tranner with 2, and 6 from Six points from Clayton Jewell. 43 total rebounds, 18 offensive, 25 defensive, nine assists to 11 turnovers, two steals, and four blocks for the Stars tonight. Points off turnovers, Rangers led at 15-7. They led in the paint 40-22. to Second chance 11-7 to in favor of OCU. Fast break in favor of the Rangers 15-4, to and they led in the bench 32-8. to We'll take another timeout, come back, and put our camper on it after this. This is in our McDermott Insurance postgame show. This is Northwestern Basketball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Rangers Sports Network. 
Pregnancy Center is now open in Alva. We are training our nurse manager and need pregnant women for a free ultrasound and special gift. If you are 6 to 20 weeks pregnant, please call 580-327-9091 today. Our services include free and confidential pregnancy testing, ultrasound, options education, and resources. Schedule your appointment with Hope Pregnancy Center at 580-327-9091. To prevent medication from getting into the wrong hands, it is crucial to store it out of sight and out of the reach of children and visitors. In addition, it is important to dispose of unwanted, expired, and unused medications in a safe manner. For more information, visit okimready.org. That's O-K-I-M-R-E-A-D-Y dot org or call 988 Oklahoma's Mental Health Lifeline. This program is funded by Northwestern Oklahoma State University, Oklahoma Department of Mental Health and Substance Abuse Prevention Services and Substance Abuse Mental Health Services Administration. Welcome back inside Personal Fieldhouse for a final time as we each caught up around programming notes for us at Classic Hits 105.7 for the next week. Again, the Rangers winner tonight, 78-62. to Coming up next week, uh, Alvo Goldbugs will be in action in the state quarterfinals. They'll take on uh, the Kiefer Trojans. Again, that'll be at 1 o'clock on uh, Friday uh, in Kingfisher. Craig Kilman, Chris Ruwald have the coverage of that one. And then we're back here next Saturday as Northwestern host Lone Star Conference opponent, uh, the uh, Midwestern State. So that's a look ahead. And uh, good luck and safe travels to the Northwestern Lady Rangers as they'll be on the road getting on the, a plane going all the way down to Hawaii. Uh, taking on Chaminade University and Stanislaus State. Those games are scheduled for next Friday and Saturday uh, from Honolulu. So good luck to them and, and safe travels getting there and, of course, back. But that will wrap it up for our broadcast tonight. Uh, again, final score, final time. Rangers win at 78-62 until we join you next Saturday. Again, appreciate all of our sponsors and listeners up and down the line who help make each one of our broadcasts possible. This is Dustin Goodnow saying so long from Personal Fieldhouse in Alva and have a r great rest of your weekend, Ranger Nation. <laughs>